Magic Castle. It's a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's a good burger. Mmm, that's a good burger. That was a really good burger. That's a good burger. That's a good burger. That was a good burger. Mid City Grill. The burgers are good. <laughs> Remember to eat breakfast every day. <laughs> Remember to always eat your breakfast. I really like shrimp. I want to put those shrimps on my lips. I want to chew them up with my teeth. Because, 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 because I really like shrimp. I want to chew them up, I want to put them on my lips I really like shrimp, I want to put the shrimp right on my lips Shrimp, they swim around in the ocean 
and you can eat them. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Brush Don't forget your teeth. to brush your teeth. Brush, 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 brush. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Chickens. Chickens are a curious creature. They used to be dinosaurs, but now they're just all birds. They like to walk around in the grass, pecking on stones and bugs and such. They like to flap around, but they really can't fly that good. But they can soar around like a little glide. Just a little glide around. You can find them on farms. Sometimes you can just find them running around out in the woods. Chickens. You can find most stuff from about anywhere. Eating salads can be a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, eating salads can be really fun. Corn. It's a plant that grows out of the earth. It grows and gets these little yellow kernels that you can use to dry out and cook up and make popcorn, or you can just eat the corn right off the cob, over roast it over a campfire maybe. You know you love that corn. Everybody loves corn around these neck of the woods. So if you don't like corn, then maybe you should go somewhere else, cause corn's delicious. Ooh boy, I love corn. Corn. It's a good eating. Woo! Come on down to Mid City Grill and try our newest burger special, the Crankus, a loaded potato burger with our house made bacon mayo, delicious beef, glorious cheddar cheese, tasty hash browns, mouth watering sour cream and crispy bacon. The Crankus. Come and get one before it's too late. Mid-City Grill. The burgers are good. Whoa, it looks like I'm in an Inimo Cup commercial. Will I ever find my way out of here? I don't know. Just watch MMO Cop on the Nathan Napalm channel on Saturday sometimes. <laughs> MMO Cop, Saturday at midnight, sometimes on the Nathan Napalm channel.
Steven's Magic Castle. It's a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's a good burger. Mmm, that's a good burger. That was a really good burger. That's a good burger. That's a good burger. That was a good burger. Mid City Grill. The burgers are good. Remember to eat breakfast every day. <laughs> Remember to always eat your breakfast. I really like shrimp. I want to put those shrimps on my lips. I want to chew them up with my teeth. Because, 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 because I really like shrimp. I want to chew them up, I want to put them on my lips I really like shrimp I want to put the shrimp right on my lips Shrimp, they swim around in the ocean And you can eat them Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush your teeth brush. Don't forget to brush your teeth Don't forget to brush your teeth. Chickens. Chickens are a curious creature. They used to be dinosaurs, but now they're just all birds. They like to walk around in the grass pecking on stones and bugs and such. They like to flap around, but they really can't fly that good. But they can soar around like a little glide. Just a little glide around. You can find them on farms. Sometimes you can just find them running around out in the woods. Chickens. You can find most stuff from about anywhere. <laughs> Eating salads can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Eating salads can be really fun. Corn. It's a plant that grows out of the earth. It grows and gets these little yellow kernels that you can use to dry out and cook up and make popcorn or you can just eat the corn right off the cob over roast it over a campfire maybe you know you love that corn everybody loves corn around these neck of the woods so if you don't like corn then maybe you should go somewhere else because corn's delicious oh boy i love corn corn it's a good eating Ooh. Come on down to Mid-City Grill and try our newest burger special. 
the Krangus, a loaded potato burger with our house-made bacon mayo. Delicious. Hello, everybody. I am Nathan. And I'm Steve. Guess what we're doing tonight. What are we doing tonight, Steve? Final Fantasy XI Horizon okay, Server. <laughs> Old school. Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic. It's a classic. Jared says, oh, I'm just a filthy casual, but the first one here. Your content is a lot of fun. First, enjoy gaming when we're unable to. Thank you for your dedication, hard work on the videos. Thank you, Jared. Appreciate it, man. Nice. What's up, music? Nice. What's up, Alex? Oh, who's running that? It's image. That kind of freaked me out like I was getting a virus as that image ran at me like that. It was like a pop up was coming at me. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> that scared me. Uh, so we need, to, we need to get out of here until we get more people. Um, yeah. Look at the map here. So we need to run to the east, way to the east, and then to the south. Gotta get reacclimated from Fancy Weapon again. We haven't played in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been a little bit. I have to like relearn how to play the game almost every time. <laughs> I'm like real quick, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why I feel about all day my most I play because I only play each one once a week. So every single time I'm streaming, I'm like, uh, how do you do that again in this game? Yeah. Definitely. It happens to me almost every time. Running through the desert. Running through the desert. My favorite desert in an MMO, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what? I think so, too, actually. I'm trying to think of a better desert than the dunes in an MMO. Row in um, EverQuest is great, but I didn't spend as much time there as I have here. So... Yeah, I feel like I have more of a personal relationship with this land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like trying to compare some girlfriend you had for like a year to the wife you've had for 15 years, you know? Like, yeah. you that's not fair. That's not fair for either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> hill lizards. The lizards of the hills. Oh, let me fix that. My bad, guys. That's from the... Uh, it's from a previous stream that should not be there because it didn't have it there last night. Let me fix that. That was from the Taco John subathon that we had. <laughs> yeah, which went well. It went really. I'm proud of our results, by the way. We we fed at least 27 people with a full a full combo meal at Taco John's. <laughs> no, that's classy. <laughs> <laughs> Running off into the horizon. Shock at Steve. <laughs> yep. I guess we're busting for now because uh, we're going to have to leave the dunes. I said, got to leave. We'll be back when we get more people. Or actually, maybe we'll get over here a little bit more to the east and maybe the stuff will be something we can play. Maybe, maybe. I have leveled up a bit. What's this sheep? I'm running off into the distance here. Oh! Let's just go take a wide around this incredibly tough and brutal Dude, that sheep. is a brutal sheep, yeah. <laughs> Dude, brutal, you gotta watch out for those. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. next time. It's not often, but next time I'm at a farm and they have a sheep, I'm gonna be like, that is a brutal sheep. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, wonder what they'll think. <laughs> what will they think that means, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what they'll think, yeah. Okay, tough rabbits. Can't fight the rabbits. There is something, I want to say it's those little... Uh, the little lizards towards the front. Maybe, maybe. That I, I have memories of like waiting for a group, but I could still go kill those. Well, and watch out for those fish that flop around. Oh, dude, that's giving me flashbacks to Super Mario Brothers three last night. <laughs> dude, I love retro games. I can't help it. A part of me is always gonna love that. They're so good. They are. They're so good. They're good. You know, one thing that they did so well back in the day because they couldn't really focus too much on graphics you know there's just yeah. so much you can do so one thing they did really well was the gameplay itself was just a lot of fun and worked really well you know what i mean yeah i mean sure there were some games out there that were garbage oh but, yeah oh yeah but yeah man it's but for the most part there, there's so much good stuff too and like they and because of the way how games were back then they could make they, <laughs> 
I wish that stuff like this still happened today just because I think it would be hilarious and I would be totally down to play all of them. But you know how they used to do like video games out of for, for like companies like there's like a Chester Cheetah Super Nintendo game oh, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. McDonald's. And Dude, that McDonald's Sega game is my favorite where he sh bends down and shoots the magic out of his fingers. <laughs> he looks hilarious when he does it too. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Those those some of them were actually fun though. Is the thing that was funny about it, like uh, yeah, even the regular Nintendo one was not a bad game. That's McKids or whatever. Mc yeah, <laughs> I think that's what it was called. Yeah, it was called that. And I, dude, one of my favorite one of those type of games for the regular Nintendo was Yo Noid, the Domino's Pizza game. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that game what was actually fun. What a creepy story, by the way. <laughs> yeah. The no. Yo killer and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's weird. I didn't even know about that. We've talked about Yonoid forever, and I just learned about the Yonoid... Do uh, was it Domino's? It was... After, yeah, it was their mascot, you know, yeah. the Noid yeah, it was. Yeah, he was That guy busted in and made him make him pizzas and held him hostage, and and he was just pissed off. Everybody called him Yonoid all the time. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. He tried to take out his revenge on an actual Domino's. They're like, that's it! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they have anything to do with it. Place more clear. Dude, I'm a fan. That's one of those old school characters from commercials. I'm a fan of. I like the Noid. I think they're, they're slowly starting to bring them back, right? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've seen them do stuff with them every here and there. Every here and there. Every here and there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, imagine like. But they have to be treated like a real video game. You know what I mean? Like, imagine nowadays if yeah. like. If, like, I don't know, what if there was, like, a, a, a platformer where you were the Geico Lizard, but it was actually solid game? <laughs> it, it, was, it was, like, the new Gex, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, actually, the most recent time somebody did that, and I know you know that, because you're the one that got it, and we played it at your house, was the Burger King. Yeah, and that was a while back now. That was uh, Xbox 360 days. That's 360, yeah. But that they're, I think, I feel like they're the only ones that did that during that generation of gaming. It's the only one I can think of in a, since the old days. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Like on Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo, there was a lot. Yeah. That was normal. And dude, Everybody had to have a game. Some of the Super like Nintendo magic. ones, are, dude, the Chester Cheetah games are awesome. Yeah. And so, you know what? The the spot the spot games I thought were pretty good, too. The oh, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I think they might have got crappy, but like early PlayStation days... Spot goes to Hollywood, maybe what it was called. There, the, I think I'm, 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 I could be wrong, but I think the very first one was on the Game Boy. Super Nintendo. Oh, you might be right. You might be right. I could be wrong, but there was one on the Game Boy at very least, and Dude, I, I like that one. Gex, by the way, uh, Essen says he loved that game. Um, that was a that was an interesting time because that was right before 3D gaming really was about to blow up. The original know? Gex. Yeah. But that's like so actually in 2D. It was 2D, but remember, it would have, like, you know, like, some backgrounds you could kind of interact. It, it kind of made you feel like maybe it was a little bit moving towards 3D. Um, yeah. The X was, uh, and it looked so much crazy compared to 16-bit 2D. It looked nuts. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the original Gex. That was one of the first games I had on PlayStation along with those RPGs. And I remember it was back in the day. Do you remember when PlayStation first came out? The cases were like these big, huge cases, yep. and not the little yep. like CD cases or whatever they switched to. Yep. There was a uh, there was a scare for a while that Americans, if it wasn't big boxes, they wouldn't think they were getting their value worth. <laughs> it's hilarious and sad. <laughs> it's, it's true though. <laughs> Uh, the Sega Saturn always had the big boxes. They never switched over. Um, Sega didn't do the small ones until Dreamcast. And, um, by the way, worst cases in video gaming history. I hate those Sega Saturn cases. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They break just from using them. They're so lame. I hate that. I, I don't like those either. Just as a, a video game collector, I hate those. Yeah, it sucks. And I'd never even really played Sega Saturn very much at all, if any, if I, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm gonna bring mine and drop it at your house, just with the <laughs> with the exclusive RPGs that never have and never will come out for anything else, you know? Because man, cool. there's some good ones, you know, like absolutely just makes me want to cry that so many people will never get to see these games. Like That's Alpha crazy Odyssey, to think about. Shining the Holy Ark. 
Estrogen Saga. I mean, it's just sad. The yeah. Sega's just like, oh well. I played Albert Odyssey number four. Really? Yeah, it came out on, like on the PlayStation three or two, I think. Maybe the two. Well, well, do you remember the general plot line? I'm just wondering if maybe. Oh, I barely can remember it. No, this was like part four of it. Okay. Yeah, because the first one, or I don't know if it's really the first one, to be honest with you. I think there might have been one in Japan on, like, the Super Nintendo. Yeah. It's confusing. But, uh... No, it, wait, 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 dude. I got confused. I just realized. Okay. I'm thinking about Ar uh, Ark the Lad. Oh, Ark the Lad. Dude, uh, those... I, I, I think there might have been two, and I didn't play them both. But the one Ark the Lad game that came out on PS2, do you remember that? I think that was Is number four. 3D? That was a good game. Yeah, it was cool. That was a good game. I liked that a lot. Oh, 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 I wanted to mention this to you, man. W when we were talking about all the cool stuff about that last Nintendo Direct, there was one thing that we forgot to talk about, or even just mentioned, that is actually something super cool that's coming out on the Switch, and that is the remasters of Bait and Kaidos 1 and 2. Oh, yeah, true, man. You know what? That storyline for that first one is worth it no matter what you think because the storyline is got a really good twist in it at the yeah. end like real like one of the more epic twists um really well done but dude i do not like the combat in those games that i don't like when you mix cards yeah combat. i don't like that either dude whenever i do actually that, that's the only game i've played but I even gave a chance that's like that to be honest and I just, I have to like brainwash myself that the cards are really just my options of how to fight. And they are. They really are. They really are. They are not even needed to be there as the dumbest part about it. I know. It's just, just it's a gimmick. It's a big different. Yeah, it's a gimmick. It's really just a turn based game. Yeah. Um, but w correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the hype for that game when it, because it originally came on the GameCube. Yeah. And wasn't, wasn't the hype that it was some of the developers from Chrono Cross? Or something like that. There was some kind of yeah. Somebody who developed worked on it worked on Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger. That is definitely a thing. That's what I was thinking. If, can you guys hear that really weird sound in my background? It sounds like bees attacking you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. We were having a winter storm, and I don't know why, but when the wind is blowing really, really strongly, there must be like a tiny little gap on my door that goes because there's a door to go outside in my office out into like a, a, a deck it makes that um, noise <laughs> it makes that noise it sounds like a balloon getting <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> that would be a really annoying that. so that sucks but i even tried to make it earlier today i was like trying to figure out where it was so i could like clog it up or something i couldn't figure it out so we're just gonna hear me being attacked by bees sometimes I'm gonna react to it every time. Act like I am getting attacked by these. All right, so some, we should be able to fight stuff out here. Um, I don't really know this area too well. Let's just find a good spot with some stuff. All right. All right Watch out for that mad sheep over there. Oh, this guy's easy. Let's see what he's worth. Let me first of all. I'm gonna I'm gonna level sync to you. Oh my God! Oh, it's my mother. Same party. That little, that little person that ran by. Yeah, their name's your mother. I see. Oh, that was their name. Hard smelled. I don't know if that worked. Did you get an invite? Let me check and see. I don't seem to get like any kind of a notification that I get invites. It's like I have to go manually yeah. check. I'm like, oh, somebody did send me one. Cool. Oh, I, I spelled your name wrong. There we go. Now maybe you got it. Let's see. Oh, I oh I see it now. It's just Sorensen invites me to the party. Now I just got to uh, remember how to join the party. Oh, there we go. Accept party, the invite. Yeah. Did I do it? All right, there we go. Oh, you need to rest, but let's... Uh, oh, yeah, I do. I just realized you're right. I'm just going to rest right the, here. Yeah. Just going to have a little rest. Oh, Ready Auto Stories is such a good game. I wish that they would Ooh. port that. That is a, I didn't such a cool that game. game. That's, I, I was having so much fun, and for some reason, I think I moved or something. I never went back and did it. I never went back and... Dude, in that game, yeah, you can you can there there's secret characters you can get like you can get Lenneth from Valkyrie Profile in your party in that game. It's so cool. I love that game. Mm. Yeah, Skies of Arcadia. I, I feel like was Sega's last big RPG. But I will say this, guys, if you're a, oh these bees, they keep stabbing <laughs> me. Um, if if you guys are a fan of like the Sega did have a very unique 
style of RPGs. Like they Fantasy did. Star, they really did. They really did. The Shining series. Um, it was just so different than what anybody else has ever done. If you like it, I was just talking to Steve about this today. If you miss that, and you're like, man, I wish there was a good se new Sega RPG. Forget about what the game says it is, okay? Just go get, because it's totally free, and I mean really free. Like, they do not even care if you ever give them a dollar. It's probably the freest game I've ever played in my life. Fantasy Star Online 2, New Genesis. Not the old one, New Genesis. That's, a, that's its own game. And um, just play it like an RPG, because that's what it is. Um, yeah. And it and it's like it's like a new, really well done Sega Gen or not Sega Genesis Sega style uh, RPG. It's really good. I've been having a blast playing it just like an RPG. I just pretend like it's not even an MMO. The cool and one I'm of the cool so things excited. about that game is the art style that they use in it. Like at f at first glance, you're like, oh, it's kind of an anime ish art style. But right. but but then like when you look deeper, it's it's really like, I mean, it is because it all is across the board in, in anime art style, but, but, it's a very Sega JRPG art style. Oh, and yeah. it's like a 3D version of that, which we had never really seen. I think it looks not awesome. Not high quality, at least. Yeah, yeah, not like that old school. Like, it's so cool. It is actually a fun game, too. What what, what kind of class are you in that? Uh... What's it called? I'm a um, What's generic your... fighter. I forget what the hunter. Hunter. Do you use like a sword and stuff? Yeah, a sword. I, yep, I'm using a two hand right now. I love it, man. It really is. Like I like the old Fantasy Stars a lot. I've always been sad that they haven't got a new one. And this is pretty much really is a new one. Fantasy Star Online One and Version Two, which makes it really confusing. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't feel like those were really fantasy star games. Yeah, I really didn't. Like, if if that would have been all we ever got for Fantasy Star, I would have been highly disappointed. Because I mean, I'm not saying they're bad games, but they're certainly not good games either. Come on. Yeah. No, I agree. <laughs> they were just cool because at the time, playing with other people was cool and new for console players. Man, the Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is fantastic. It's actually a really good story, a lot of fun, really quickly paced uh, as far as like how quickly the story gets rolling. Yeah, and if you liked that movie Ratatouille, then you'll love Fantasy Star Online 2. <laughs> uh, Essen says, remind me to tell you a story about the death of Fantasy Star Online for Sega Dreamcast and how my best friend killed the entire game single-handedly. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, maybe we don't won't, won't tell that in public in case there's some fans out there. Yeah, um, yeah. Fantasy Star Online. I'm playing as like the Ranger class, right? Uh -huh. So have like a machine gun or not a machine gun, but you know, like a laser assault rifle type thing. And okay. uh, it's crazy because how you can switch what style of combat you want to do in that game. Like you can play it like it's a third person shooter, and it feels crazy, dude. It's yeah, sweet. you can. Yeah, you can. Are you talking about where you switch to that one? Do you got to get on? Where you switch to where you have the crosshairs, and you yeah, can like yeah, move yeah. around like it's a shooter. Yeah, that is so yep. sweet, dude. That's how I play the game usually. You you got to get on PS Five. I'm telling you, it's a it's a game changer. Because I liked it, and I was the one who told you like, yeah, you, I think you're gonna like it. It's a, it's a, it is a good game. Um, but then I saw it on PS Five, and I was like, you know what? This might be the kind of game. Because here's what happens to me: if it's late at night, I'm done making stuff the last place i want to be guys sitting in this chair because i sit in this chair from like 8 a.m till you know two o'clock in the morning sometimes so right. i don't want to be here no more you know so i'll go downstairs and play a console game but a lot of times i still want to play an mmo and eso is unfortunately one of the few that i can still like relax and play um but eso is just not that great you know um so anyway fancy star online 2 new genesis has been my new been my new thing. Nice. Dude, lately I've been playing, uh, when I'm doing that exact same thing, basically, uh, I've been playing, uh, I just randomly got a hold of a physical copy of Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers. Are you familiar with that? Uh, no, I don't think it, so. This is actually really cool. So this is only on the Switch, as far as I know. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. only on the Switch. Um, 
It's a, uh, it is like a, a ridiculously awesome, it's still in 2D, you know, it's not 3D at all, it's like classic t arcade style 2D, but almost more modernized, right? Uh, of Street Fighter 2, man, the classic Street Fighter 2, and it's, it's really cool, man, it's actually, you should, you should look up a video to it one day. What's it called again? It's called, Ultimate. it's called Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, and they made it for the 35th anniversary of Street Fighter 2 is why they decided to release it. And it's redone art, like new art? Yeah, man, it looks awesome, dude, it looks awesome. Yeah. That sounds really cool. I will look it out because I do like... I, I'm definitely going to check that out. But I do also have to also say that I cannot believe that we're still getting new releases of Street Fighter 2. Oh, I know. <laughs> how long? How many, is versions, is, how many versions is there? <laughs> no, this is the coolest one they've ever done, dude. This thing's amazing. Yeah, this sounds good. This sounds good, yeah. Because I know when the Switch first came out, they had, like, the anniversary... And I have that, too, and I, I love that thing. Everybody did, but I was like, I'm not buying it again. I bought this damn game like probably 40 times. Well, I'm they, not it. But that one's cool. It has every Street Fighter <laughs> ever on it. What? Like all the arcade ones. Not like. On the one you're talking about, the new one. Yeah, not four and. No, no, no. The new one's just Ultra Street Fighter 2, but uh, that one that's okay. the Street Fighter anniversary, anniversary collection. Yeah. It is. Uh, oh, dude. I need to Tons. Hit. I just realized. Yeah, I'm. I'm tr I was. Whoops. I wasn't even in the fight. I was healing still. <laughs> I gotta get up. What was that? Oh my gosh, what the heck's going on? It won't let me up, dude. It's like my controls are, are, are malfunctioning. Oh, I got 14. Oh! Oh, snap, I don't know. Oh, I got six hit points. Here comes the hill. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, he's attacking you. That saved me. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Right. That, that was crazy. Now we gotta heal again. I didn't even notice till I was almost dead. But yeah, dude, I actually recommend that Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. It uh, has every arcade Street Fighter ever made on it. It is sweet. I didn't realize that. that and then they also released this thing called the Capcom Fighting Collection, right? I did see that. That tempted me. Dude, that tempted it's me. really cool. Lie. I have that one, too. I love it. Because it's got all the Capcom, right? All, like Dark it, it has Stalker. all the Dark Stalkers. It has some, a couple of games that never even came out here that are really cool fighting games. Like, yeah, it yeah, is, true. Yeah. It is, it's got another version of Street Fighter 2 randomly on it, <laughs> but that's the only one. And then uh, there's a couple other things, but it's really cool. It's worth it just for all the Dark Stalkers, dude. It's like six games. Yeah, that's cool. That was a good idea. <clears throat> I can't uh, believe so there's listen, not a new Dark Stalkers after all this time. Super Monster says, fine, I'll give it a shot. I need a couch game. Listen, do not fire this up being like, I'm going to play a sweet MMO. Maybe... Maybe you will have some MMO type fun, but do not fire this game up with that in mind. Fire it up like I'm gonna play a really cool JRPG, and you will enjoy the heck out of it. Yeah, it's cool, and it's so free. I mean, it's so free. It's insane, actually. It kind of blows my mind because that game's actually old. Like New Genesis is new, where they redid the game, but like the original Fantasy Star Online 2. It only came out a couple of years ago here in uh, North America, but that game came out like 10 years ago in Japan. It's old. It's old. Oh, yeah. It's old. So, like, if you're just mold. thinking, like, one day they're going to really stick it to you in the cash shop, I don't think so. I think that's just the way this game is. And I looked it up. I was like, what how much money they made off of having a model where they legitimately don't make you pay any money? Like, I wonder how much money they made. Almost a billion dollars. So, it's worked out for them. Dang. Just people buying random cosmetics or... Because you can get a subscription, you know, just whatever. Yeah. If you're playing as a JRPG, you don't need to do any of that. Just play the game. Free. Yeah, it's it's actually a lot of fun. I have a blast playing it. And I actually did end up having a couple of MMO-type experiences, especially when I was yeah. doing these things where we were waiting for these... Uh, we were, like, waiting for these events to spawn that we had to do. And there's a bunch of people there, and everybody was just kind of standing around talking. Let's get away from that goblin. He's tough. You gotta watch out for those gums. Final Fantasy. Dude, I'm a little, I'm a little mad. About what? Have you seen this leak? I think it's actually legit. It's, it's, it leaked a while ago, but now it seems really legit because of some other stuff. It's nothing crazy. 
But I'm a little annoyed because I'm not going to buy it because I, it would just be ridiculous. But dude, that Tears of the Kingdom OLED Switch that is going to come out is so sweet looking. Oh, yeah, and I'm not buying another Switch. I'm not I'm, either. I'm, I'm not going to, but yeah, I know. I haven't seen it. I hate when I that happens. It, I it, it always happens to me because I never, like, I always already have the console when these cool yeah. editions come out, and I'm like, I'm not going to... Yeah, it makes it's me mad because I'm a real fan. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That makes me really mad because the non-real fans get all the cool stuff because I'm a real fan. As soon as Nintendo releases a system, I buy it because I know there's going to be a Zelda come out on it and I want to have it and be good to go. They, they, need to make but, it, they need to change it to where at launch of the console there's a limited yes. edition one that you can pre-order and that's the only way to yes. get it. Yes. Yeah. Now that I would think was fair. Yeah. I hate how they do that. It'll be like, it's six years since the Switch come out. Like, they're just farming people to buy another Switch. That's what that is. It makes me angry. Like, I bet you that even if it's a Japan exclusive, which you can play Japanese PlayStation over here, no problem. Like, like doesn't even matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if it's a Japan exclusive, I am just waiting for them to announce a Final Fantasy 16 PS5. Oh I'm my just gosh, waiting totally for it. Will. They totally will. They do they it every time. Will. And it'll be widely available. You'll see it from everywhere. It'll annoy the crap out of you because you're like, dang it! Yeah, I know. I, I know. bought my PS5 for this game! I know, right? <laughs> you know, like, that it's makes crazy. me so bad. It's just crazy. Dude, those oh, bees dang. are getting wild, dude. It's... <laughs> it's to be in the game. Wild. It's just to be in the game. That was a real sound effect from the game. <laughs> Dude, we should try to play an MMO where the whole time we have a soundboard and we're trying to add sound effects into the game and make it make sense. <laughs> we try to guess, yeah. like, what kind of sounds we think will be in the game and then we try to make them play. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Oh, Tactics Ogre Reborn. Nice. I heard that remake, or the, uh, yeah, remake was really good. Really well done. Man. I, I have trouble getting into strategy games, unfortunately. Yeah. A curse. Dude, I will say this. If you ever are just like want to experience the cool story of Fire Emblem Engage, right? If you really wanted to, if you were desperate enough. <laughs> okay. Uh you can play that game in a if you wanted to in a way to where you can auto battle every battle, right? But when you're auto battling, you still have to choose what it'll be like, let's say it's your turn to do a bat to do your moves, right? You yeah. can just select auto battle, and then a thing pops up, and it's like different choices of how to progress forward, right? Like, it'll be like advance, protect the leader, do this, do that, oh, and you just okay. pick one of them that you want to do, and it's just for that turn. Then when it gets back, and then when it's the turn's over, then it, it'll That's pop, you'll, cool. you'll get to choose, it almost makes it feel like it's some kind of crazy turn-based combat if you play it that way. That's pretty cool, actually. Game school, though. It's so weird that I have trouble with it because I I can totally play a game like Baldur's oh, Gate 3. I know, Warrior. Which is essentially the same kind of setup. You pick where you move. You yeah. pick your thing that you're going to do. Then you move to the next guy. and it, It's essentially the same thing. There's just something about that grid. When yeah. I see a grid, I'm just like, this is a video game. I don't want to see that. It bothers me. It's something about seeing the grid. I get that. Because, like, I don't know. If I'm playing a real tabletop game and there's obviously a grid, it doesn't bother me. But in a video game, it does. I get it, though. I kind of get it. It's 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 what makes it hard for me to just pick up all, any old one and try it out. I usually stick to they, stuff that I know is the, solid, the most solid of, this, of the genre. I'm going to attempt to say this real quick. All right. DDI five six six one two six. Thank you very much for super chat. It says uh, forty three year old dad played EverQuest and Final Fantasy eleven for years on Horizon again, reliving the glory days. Nice, I love it. Thanks for super chat, dude. Heck this really yeah. is the best server for this game it's ever ever been. It's I love. Do I think I have been enjoying this more than I ever did the original official version? Maybe. Yeah, me too. Which is one crazy second. to say. Guys, I know that right now Nathan is gone. It's because of the bees. He's, I think he's being attacked by those bees. <laughs> Dude, they almost got me. I'm back, though. I'm this back. is crazy. The bees, man. Dangerous out here. They're Those getting bees. wild. 
too much Krispy Kreme in the house or something. Hey. Is it my imagination or is there something different about that goblin up there, that tinkerer? His armor on. Oh, he turned around. Oh, there is something about him. He's coming for you, man. <laughs> That's what it was. He's oh man, he He's turned. He, it's like he heard you. Okay, we gotta run north. There's a zone up here. <laughs> run. It's funny on this game that the enemies are like, come back here. They never give up at coming after you. <laughs> I know. That's the way it used to be in old school games. Then they were like, oh well, guess what? You you done you done effed up. Now you're about to find out. Yep. He's not on you, is he? No. I can't wait till okay. in games like this where the AI is like, the goblin chases us, but if we go around a bunch of other humans, even if we're not in a party with them, it's like, oh, that looks like a dangerous situation. I better run. He might kill me. Oh, let me heal you. I forgot that I can do that. Can you do it while we're running? Uh, how, how low are you there? I'm at 32. Casting again. I can't do it while we're running. Okay, okay. He didn't hit me too hard that time. I'm really close to Here, his own line. I could probably heal you real quick, even though he'd hit you again. Okay, I'm gonna stop and get a heal then. Oh, <laughs> oh never mind. He oh, hit dang. He, hit, he hits harder than his cast. I should have kept... Her. Is he still chasing? I think since you didn't do anything to you, I don't think he's gonna chase you. Weird. No, he didn't. That's how he it works? Reset. I didn't remember it working that way, but... Oh, man, I'm sorry for you, dude. It's okay. I'm, I think I'm right there in the dunes. I can just run right back out. You're right. Just stay right in that area and I'll be right at you. I can't believe. Oh, sweet. I'm actually right in front of the zone, so I'll be right there. Oh, nice. I'm just running in the woods. It's getting dangerous out here, you know? Yeah, and I know I'm missing out on Final Fantasy Tactics, man. I really know dude, that. Oh, I dude, play. I wish, you know, there's big time rumors that they're a remaster of that's going to come out. And I believe it, and I'm going to wait for it, and I'm going to try it. Dude, I mean, that's one. That's the one that I really regret, because I did play Shining Force 2, and I liked it. Dude, the Final Fantasy Tactics, for one thing, the storyline is insanely good. It's like yeah. it's like Shakespearean in a way, you know what I mean? It's but yeah. it's it's really good. And dude, let me just tell you right now, <laughs> the soundtrack to that game is nuts good. It's so it's it's awesome. That's a great game. I love that game. Yeah, that's one I've always okay, there you are. That's one I've always been like, man. And I've tried to play that one a bunch of times. Yeah. It's a good one, I will say that. You know, there's a this game didn't really play out like that kind of a strategy game in like those games are, like Tactics and even like Fire Emblem and stuff. But there was this game that I guess would have been considered a strategy game that was on the Super Nintendo that I loved when I was a kid called Ogre Battle. You, you ever oh, heard yeah, of that? Yeah, like, Isn't that part of the Tactics Ogre? It, it, it is. It yeah, is. Yeah. I loved that game, dude. Yeah, big following on that one, for sure. I've actually, I'm actually thinking about that I want to play that game on the Retro JRPG night after I beat this Emerald Dragon game. Well, I was telling Steve this before the stream, guys. Uh, Legend of Dragoon is now available on the PlayStation, and you don't ha you can get their whatever subscription for classic games if you want and get it, or you can just straight up buy it for 10 bucks. Digital only, though. You can Digital buy it for only. ten bucks. Yeah, you can buy it for ten bucks. Nice, man. That is sweet. And same thing for um, Wild Arms Two. Uh, you can just buy it for ten bucks. That is actually pretty awesome. Ten bucks. I like that is they're doing it. that. Yeah, even though it's only a digital version with um, Sony setup now, where you can play any of the games from the past as long as they're in your lineup. Um, I think it's worth it. Yeah. But they did a good job. It's not just an emulator running it right like the they've up the backgrounds the polygons have been i mean, they've not been reworked they've just been cleaned up it still looks exactly like you remember it except for your memory is probably better than it really actually looks because the resolution on those backgrounds were like really small um back in the day because they didn't need to make them you know what i mean like it was yeah. 
CRT TVs. They didn't need to be all crazy like that. So they've up it. So now, even on my giant 70-inch 4K TV, it looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. That is sweet. I'm going to have to check that out. In an old out. school way. In an old school way, it looks gorgeous. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's like I feel the same way about the Tales of Symphonia remaster. Like it looks old, but it looks really that good. Was, that was like one of three real RPGs the GameCube ever had. I know. I used to consider. I, I would consider it. It's the best RPG for the GameCube. I think. But Skies of Arcadia, I don't really count that one because it was really. I don't uh, either. It, it was, was a, a Dreamcast, Dreamcast game. game. Even though technically it is actually the best RPG on, on the GameCube. Now, one thing, what game is that? It might be, it might be one of the Fire Emblem games. No, 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 no. It might be in that too, and I'm just not aware. What I'm thinking of is Shining Force 3. Maybe in Shining Force 2, I haven't played in a long time, I don't remember. But in Shining Force 3, that's a tactics game that I did play all the way through. Mm. And I really had a lot of fun, but that had a lot to do with it being so retro you know what i mean um where it would be like 3d backgrounds pixel characters but then when you didn't attack it would go to like for the time really good 3d models of them doing the attack yeah that's that how combo, fire emblem is yeah they were it was like that um but old so it made right. me somehow it made me be like this is so cool um so i did play that one but one thing i really liked about that game was that you could like Say you're in a battle with ten other people, right? Right. You kill nine of them, and then just use a teleport spell, go back to town, then do the fight again. So you could farm it, and you could level up your, your team that way. And that made me enjoy it more because I, I might be wrong, but every time I play Final Fantasy Tactics, it feels like that you can't do that. You can't grind very much. Am I wrong? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can grind. Okay. Well, I've never. I'm pretty sure before. you can. That would make it easier for me because I like to grind my levels up. I don't like to just go in and barely survive every single fight because the fights take too long for that. Uh, it's been a while since I've played it, but I'm pretty sure you can grind. And there's all kinds of optional content you can do in it that's not part of the main story, and that will also level you. Okay. Kind of stuff, like side quests, basically. I guess. All right. Let's speed up his sapling right here. He's a good con. Shining Force CD. I never got to play that, but wasn't that a remake of the first one? No, it was a remake of one on the Game Gear, wasn't it? I don't know, actually, on that one. Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force, Shining Force 2 on mobile? On mobile? Oh, I'm not surprised, actually. Yeah, hey, that makes sense. The best of the all th of both of those games, though, is only on Sega Saturn, dude. Shining Force 3. Best of the Shining Force series, hands freaking down. That game is so good. Oh wait, he's on you. Um, Shining in the Darkness only had two games. Shining the Holy Ark stomps Shining in the Darkness. Definitely the best of the Shining series. Nice. So that's that's sad. Archagon has no sound. What? Um, it's gotta be on your your side, Archegon. I know you can't hear me say that, but everybody else is getting sound because they're literally replying to me. Yeah, they have to what, be. What was Shining Force CD a remake of? Because it was a re-released. It wasn't its own game. I'm 99% I'm sure on that. I think it was a remake of that album by The Cure. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> Oh, I never heard of that one, the Game Gear one. I see that's a that's a console I didn't really get to to flourish around in. I never got to really I, get big into the Game Gear. I wanted to. I only got one because I I, I basically scammed uh, somebody in school out of their Game Gear. Basically. Oh, rust. I, I uh, what game was it? It was a horrible game, and I traded them for a Game Gear. Dude, when they released that Game Gear Mini thing in Japan, even though they there was four different ones that each had four different games on them, right? And it was kind of yeah. a kind of bullcrap that that's how they decided to do it. I really wish those would have came out in America, dude, because I still probably would have bought them. It would have just been kind of neat. What? 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 It, it was. What, it was. You know, like when the 
it was called a Game Gear Mini, right? It, it, recently okay. they did this, and it was like a little tiny this. Game Gear that had four different Game Gears. On, there's four different color ones, and each one had four different Game Gear games on them. They oh, only came out in yeah. Japan. I do remember seeing it, but it was Japan only. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No, T Tetsu is coming. He he works or something on on um, uh, Wednesday nights, but um, he'll be here later. He always shows up. He actually. Uh, sent me a, a, a DM earlier and was like, we're playing tonight, right? So, he should be, actually pretty soon he should be showing up. It's usually around uh, this time that Tetsu hops in. Look at that huge wasp. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, on one of my streams uh, about a week ago, Steve, I was, um, I'm trying to think of how this came to be. Oh, they were asking about Dave. Somebody said something like, are you, Steve, and Dave going to play Final Fantasy XI this week, right? And I was like, well, Dave doesn't play um, Final Fantasy XI with us. And I was like, he should. It's, I'm kind of shocked he hasn't, but he doesn't for some reason. I was like, um, but, and I was like, so it's just me and Steve for that one. And then, like, but Tetsu was watching the stream, but he was, like, way behind. He was, like, watching it, like, an hour in the past. Yeah. So it was, like, way later after that conversation. Tetsu just said, what am I, chopped liver? <laughs> and I had no idea what he was talking about. So we just spent the rest of the time talking about how chopped liver is actually good with onions, etc. And there's nothing wrong with being chopped liver. Dude, I actually like liver, man. I've had it in a few different ways now, and I liked it every time. I like liver, man. Fried, deep fried is the best. Oh, um, yeah, that stuff's good. Just fry it up in a in uh, what's what's the skillet called again? The the old people used to use this as the best way to the fry cast it. iron. The cast iron skillet uh, with some onions. Mm. Yeah, it's good, dude. I also uh, have you had uh, I don't know. I don't know if you've had this. There's this uh, really crazy Vietnamese dish called chow long, and one of the ingredients in it is pig liver, and it's uh, the whole. Soup sounds disgusting. Like it's pig liver, like it's pi a soup. Yeah, it's like it's like a soup kind of, but it's like a porridge in a way, right? It's almost like a porridge, and uh, it has like uh, pig liver, pig heart, pig lung in it, like blood sausage and stuff. Whoa! And I I tried it at this restaurant just to be like, you know what, I'm gonna order something totally nuts and see if it's good, right? So uh, I got I got it and and dude I was a little bit freaked out to eat it at first because it had so much st gross sounding <laughs> stuff in it. But then when I tasted it, I was like, oh my god, it was so good. I ate all of it. It was insanely good. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't sound good. No, dude, it sounds horrible. <laughs> it sounds nasty. It doesn't even look great. But then when you taste it, you're like, oh my god, now I get it. It's good. All right, we've got someone joining us. Uh, Makalika is here, who is what's the takeaway in chat? Oh. Dark Wizard. I remember that game on Sega CD. Dark Wizard. Hey, best RPG on Sega CD. Hands down, I will fight you over. Lunar? Lunar. Love that game. So good. Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to say what? Sonic CD. <laughs> fight this bee. Oh, I think the wind is died down. I haven't heard the bees in my house in a while. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we're finally free. <laughs> Maybe we're just used to it still doing it. Chat will let me know. That, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. Lithine Plains. Uh, let me make sure he knows how to get here from there. I'm gonna heal you up real nice and good now. And I'm gonna banish this wasp to the nether region. Oh, to the nether region? <laughs> to the air guns. Dude, don't sit on my nether region. It's not a good place for to banish to be, dude. I don't think. I'm gonna banish him. It's a punishment for the person. I'm gonna banish him some more. Dang, how many times we gotta banish this B before he's just not here anymore? Oh, he slapped me right in the lips. <laughs> That's what I actually said. It said, huge wasp hits you in the lips. I know. Like, what the heck? He did damage. <laughs> let's, make, let's make an Di RPG one day. <laughs> Dimo said liver sounds terrible. Liver! 
You've never had liver, dude? You gotta be joking me. It's not good. Even chicken liver, not even at KFC. It's You've never had liver. It's so weirdly good. Daimlos, I, I I can't believe you're even alive. I can't believe you're alive without ever eating liver. I D thought it was mandatory to at least eat it once every decade. Dude, I sell fried chicken liver at Mid City now. What's up, Vaughn? Oh, you! Oh gosh, I would love to have it. I'm, yeah. Next time I come, I'm gonna get that. Is that normal? It's or only at like Kingsport. For... Only at Kingsport. Okay. Well, that's the one I wanted to come to anyway, because obviously I've been to the Johnson City location. Nice. The Kingsport. Well, you were about to open it last time I was there. Watch out, a goblin ambusher. Dude, watch out for Tremor Ram. And Veyron. Right there? Oh yeah. Oh, he's fighting it. He's gonna solo it, dude. That's a that's a high level paladin. Watch out for Tremor Ramp. Dude, that goblin's gonna get you, dude. Is it really? Am I close to it? You're pretty close to it. <laughs> dude, somehow it did not attack. I can't believe that thing <laughs> did not I, on my screen it looked like you were standing, just standing right beside it. I was pretty close to it, dude. May I, you know what it looked like to me is that the goblin was watching him kill solo that that. I think that's why it didn't attack, him. dude. It was too in, really... it was too into that. It was like, wow, that guy's pretty strong. Wow, that thing is big, dude. Oh, it's gone. One day I'll look as cool as that paladin. We'll not ever be that lucky. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> Dimos has never eaten any liver before. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. What about Hard to human believe. Liver? Hard to believe. What about what about human liver? Human that's liver. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sparrow hasn't had it since she was a kid. This is unbelievable, guys. It is really healthy. You guys are adults. Need to... You need to eat your liver. Yeah. Make your kids eat it, too. Even if they don't like it, make them eat one little piece. I can't believe taste that liver there, boy. Woo! I, t I tell my kids <laughs> it's medicine. I'm like, just don't chew it then. Just swallow it whole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not true. I don't do that. You gotta take your medicine. It's liver. <laughs> it's liver. It's raw. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. The liver king was a liar. I think that really hurt the liver market. I know, man, because liver actually is good, but that guy is just not cool. He just took it too far. Oh, Nostalgic's here. He was being so ridiculous, too, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that guy. There we go. Oh, the liver king, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that wouldn't be good, Vaughn. We, well, actually, it would be good for us. We'd be in shape if every time he said dude, we had to do a push-up. Yeah. It would be really hard for me to do in wh where my setup is like this. I would have to like, go to a different area. I'd, have, I'd be getting up and leaving constantly to go do a push-up. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta do another one. I'll be right back. I think I see him on invite. Let me try it again. They're all here waiting and watching for us. I might as well take out this opportunity to heal up. Uh, oh, he's switching his class and stuff. Alright, he's with us now, and... Oh, yeah, that... Maybe when Nostalgic's ready. What is Nostalgic? I forgot. He's, uh... Some kind Warrior of, uh... Ninja. I, I, we might be able to take that tough. You think so? I don't know. We can try find out. We can find out. We're not too far from the zone line. It's just to the north. He's not incredibly tough. He's just regular tough. He's regular tough. Oh, make sure you use your ring, too. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. All male nude goblins in the buff. In the buff. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid of goblins actually ever since I watched Goblin Slayer. I was like that too, Sparrow. I was mostly just glad to get food, period. Like, I would just pretty much eat whatever I was given. But that wasn't always true. There was some things like chicken and dumplings. Mm, you don't like those? No, man. It's like raw dough and soaked in some kind of gross chicken. Even the chicken's not good in chicken. It, it <laughs> even ruins chicken. It's hard <laughs> to ruin chicken. I, I can only think of two ways to ruin chicken. 
shake and bake. What the heck is that? That is disgusting. I've actually never had it. And you're missing nothing. It is the worst seasoning. I've always wondered, man. I've always wondered it, about it. It's a disgrace to call that seasoning. I don't know what that. I don't. I, it's hard to. I could almost put anything on chicken and it tastes good. Whatever they made shake and bake out of. It's just this orange junk. That's what it is. You know I what? I bet. I bet it's that. I bet it's because that kid helped. <laughs> In the commercial. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He did That's not know what he was out. doing. Sparrow loves shake and bake. Oh, really? Oh, I hate it. If I even see it, it puts me in a bad mood. It's shake and bake, and I helped. I felt bad for the chicken. Yeah, and I helped. Like, yeah, I guess you did, because it tastes like crap. We need actual cooks in the room, please, to decide what kind of seasonings we put on our chicken. Wasn't like the point of it, like. To try to replicate a fr uh, the sensation of eating fried chicken, but you're baking it. Like, wasn't that the point of it? Like, isn't Maybe, that how they market it? Like, dang. it had a like it was supposed to have a crunch to it, like fried chicken. It always has a crunch, all right. Not not the kind that you want and like. It's like a it's like it's just like somebody just piled a bunch of just random crap they found that wasn't <laughs> flavorful, though. Not much flavor, and just. <laughs> It's not like the crunch you think of. You know what I mean? Where it's like flowery based and it's got its own texture to it. It's just like grains of salt. Or not even salt. Uh, it's like grains of sand just on your chicken. And all you really want to do at that point is just taste the chicken. You don't... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's bad. And it like scrapes off kind of into this weird filmy grime. Oh, oh dude, it's nasty. No. It's Sounds not good. disgusting. And for one thing, people are like, oh, but it's so easy. You just put it in a bag and then you shake your chicken in it and your chicken's coated. That's literally how seasoning works. <laughs> you don't need shake and bake. Wait, are we fighting something? Yeah, I'm fighting a wasp down here. Oh, I better come heal you. Man, you guys only like shake and bake because you haven't eaten liver in so long. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's broke you. It's oh, broke she you. said double extra crispy? <laughs> I like extra crispy chicken, though. I'm a big fan of chicken. Chicken's awesome. Dude, I love chicken, too. And right now I can't eat fried chicken. It makes oh. me sad. But... Oh, my bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. I can, t I can talk about it. I'm, I'm strong. <laughs> I'm strong. Um, but, uh... So I've been figuring out a lot of things to do with chicken by not frying it, you know? Okay. But I've, uh, I've made some pretty good stuff, dude. I made yeah, like those these. Yeah, uh, chicken. Yeah. Dude, I took like I took these chicken thighs, right, and I pitted them just a little bit, and I put some uh, some some basically some uh, pasta sauce down, like some marinara, whatever, you know. Okay. Down into there, and then I like put Parmesan and like Romano cheeses, and <laughs> I cooked it in the oven, dude, and it was actually freaking delicious. It was like these little grilled chicken parms, man. They were delicious. That does sound good. It's pretty good. Oh, they do different flavors of shake and bake? Well, that might be why we're, there's a little confusion in here. I'm only talking about the OG orange. I didn't know they did different flavors. There may be good ones. There. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I trust I, it. I, I won't buy it because I'm just, I'm scarred. That orange shake and bake is so gross. Yeah, but you can get your kids to help you make it. <laughs> I can. My kids can help me just use real flavorings on chicken. I yeah, can, I, can I even have my them. kid doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, like real chicken. Smoked chicken is king. Oh yeah, smoked chicken. Smoked chicken. That's is better good, than fried. Man. That's better than fried. I'm gonna go with smoked. Anything smoked is still is better than fried. Anything smoked is better than fried. Anything mm. smoked is better than fried. <laughs> It's, dude, I love smoked smoked fish, dude. All kind of smoked fish. Oh, man. Smoked Grand salmon, Olympus. smoked trout. Oh, smoked salmon? Yeah. Oh, the only way to eat it, to be honest. Um, Grand Ole Reaper says, I bet Nathan hates Hamburger Helper. Now, listen, I know how to get down in the trailer park with some Hamburger Helper, and I do like it. Yeah, I dude. I do like Hamburger Helper. Me too, man. I don't eat it because I know down. it's so bad for me, but... 
I I do like it. I'm like, there's a few of them that I like too. A few different flavors of hamburger helper that I'm like. Me too. Dude, I'm sorry, but when you grew up in the '90s, hamburger helper was a part of your childhood. Yeah, there's only like, one it's beef nostalgic stroganoff eating. I know. Yeah. I only know beef stroganoff as hamburger helper. If I, when I had the real deal, I'm like, no, nah, that's not right. It that's threw me good. off too. I was like, what? This is what it is. <laughs> I'm like, this ain't right. <laughs> yeah, no, same, dude. This ain't, this ain't the way I used to eat it. I, but I remember when I was still pretty young, for me, <laughs> it, for me, it's like the same with the beef stroganoff. But when I was young, young, when I first found out about real lasagna, because remember the lasagna hamburger helper? <laughs> yeah. When I found out about real lasagna, I was like, whoa, crazy. And then I tried that, and I was like, okay, real lasagna rules, too. But uh, yeah, real lasagna is definitely better. <laughs> dude, my mom would be making that 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 uh, that <laughs> lasagna hamburger and helper and take buying like some extra cheese and and drizzling yeah. over it. You That's know? how you do it. That's how you do it. Dude, I like that crap. <laughs> dude, this the sodium intake from hamburger. Helper oh, it's is... bad, dude. <laughs> it's, it's so atrocious. bad. It's so bad. That's what we Almost were raised on. You're probably better off actually eating McDonald's, and there's not many things you can say that about. Yeah. I love sushi, too. Huge. I know Steve does, too. Oh, Huge yeah, sushi. I love sushi. Steve's the one that got me in. I always liked it, you know, but um, I always... Sushi, until I met Steve, was just something that you just happened to also be on the buffet that I would get a couple of, right? Yeah. I never ate it as like a meal until Steve started showing me the ways and all the different kinds. And that's when I was like, ooh. Dude, it's like, so good. You know, what now? No, go ahead, go ahead. I don't, I don't, I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that sushi is, uh, it's one of those things where they claim that, I've read this several times that uh, people say that like, if you've ever ate sushi, then you definitely have worms. Oh yeah. So that sucks, but whatever. Don't you know what? It's just it's you know when you're a kid and you had a, a an, like a pretend friend. Well, this is just a real friend that really does live with you. That's all. No big deal. Yeah. Don't let, don't, don't let silly little things like parasites. I mean, they also say that time. same thing about almost every kind of meat too. They do, yeah, pork, and they say that. So who knows what's really true? Who knows? That's true. That's true. Remember, let's think about the milk debate, right? Milk's good for you, milk's bad for you, back and forth all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, you need to guzzle down some milk and put some density on them bones. Dude, they taught me when I was a little kid through uh, mass <laughs> commercials that, like, if I didn't drink milk, I was never going to get a woman. Yeah, Remember dude. That? I thought, and, and for me, it turned out to not be true because I drank too much <laughs> milk trying to get a woman, and then I got really fat, and now I don't have one. <laughs> it's dude, full. Maybe you should sue the milk. The milk. I should. Maybe I should, that. and you I know? should. I should sue Hardy's too. Dude, also that was kind of a. I'm not allowed to say this word on YouTube, but the P word with the children. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. That yeah. commercial was a little bit. Because if you remember, it was like a little boy with a grown woman. He was like, I may not be much right now, but I'm going to continue drinking a glass of milk every day. And then it shows him a little older, and he's like, and I'm going to grow, and my bones are going to be strong. And then he's an adult, finally, but which, honestly, by that point, the woman will be old. But for some reason, the commercial, she stays young. And he's like, and then he gets with her. Dude. You guys remember that? Dude, he, remember that he pulled an Anakin St Skywalker from the prequel trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where George Lucas got the inspiration from. It probably was. He's like, you know what? This could be the Anakin's backstory. <laughs> Love it. It was from the milk commercials, it turns out. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. <laughs> Hopefully that's like... I, that'd be one of those things that'd be awesome if on his... Uh, like, that was George Lucas's final confession. Like, he's on his deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> and he admits that he was inspired by those milk commercials. That would be hilarious. He's like, everything's actually based off milk. <laughs> it turns out even the original trilogy is based off like uh, him looking at a, a milk under a microscope. And he was like, oh. <laughs> no, not Hardee's. Milk. The milk companies. We, I would never sue Hardee's. Hardee's has... I have too many uh, childhood memories of eating those delicious gravy and biscuits. Oh, I mentioned Hardee's because remember their commercials, like all the hot chicks eating burgers? 
I don't remember that. Yeah, they went through like this whole thing for quite a while where it was shown where it would show like a woman like eating a burger all sexually, and that was their commercials. There was a good a good few years that was the approach they took. Huh? I don't remember that. But yeah, where, dude. Where they, are you guys? they even got Paris Hilton. Weird. I'm gonna check the map. I found something to pull, but I've lost you guys. Okay, you guys are just I'm just here with Nostalgic this. and Makilla Lickas. I'm coming. I'm going to grab a little mob here. Makilla the Licka. Man. This is even that. crazier than Jungle to Jungle starring Tim Allen. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> it's a, like a stupid Disney family movie. Oh, there's the strolling sapling. I see it. That movie, Blank Check. I barely remember. Wasn't that the one about where the kid's bike gets hit? And Doesn't it have Bruce Willis or no? <laughs> it feels like it might. It has somebody from that time period. I heard Bruce Willis isn't doing so good. No, he's not. He is. What's wrong? What happened to him? He, he, he's got... I, I know it's going to sound messed up to say... But it's just because I can't remember the exact thing. But he's got one of those classic old people diseases. Along the lines of, like, you know, there's... Where they forget things and what, all that? Well, you know, I I can't remember which one it is. But, you know, like, there's Parkinson's. Uh, there's uh, Alzheimer's. There's dementia. He's got one That's of the... He's got a thing, something like that that's going on. I can't remember exactly what it is. Oh. I'd have to look it up. Oh, that's awful. Did something happen? I wonder if it was an injury or if it's no, just it No, it was happened. it naturally happened to him. From what I understand. That's sad. I like Bruce Willis. I remember when he first they first announced he wouldn't be doing acting anymore because of it a few years ago. And now I guess it's getting real bad. Tell you the biggest twist for um Bruce Willis was that Ashton Kutcher, the um who started in that seventies show, ended up uh, taking his woman. I still can't yeah. believe that. That's Shocking. You gotta watch out for those guys. <laughs> those, those, like, side characters in yeah. mildly popular television sitcoms. <laughs> One of the last sitcoms, actually. Dude, we should make a show called The Sitcom Bangers. <laughs> it's a sitcom about people in a sitcom. Yeah. They steal wives of famous celebrities and they're just like B listers. <laughs> That's all they do. That's all. That's just that. Does 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 Ashton Kutcher even do anything anymore? I think he I just like makes social media videos, being like, "I'm a good person." I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, he does do those. Yeah, he does. Do those <laughs> I think that's good. all he does now. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm sick of those videos, by the way. I am too. Like, for goodness like, gosh, for goodness for gosh. For one thing, some of those videos I feel like are really like dehumanizing the person they're helping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Like, it'll be like a homeless guy. And, like, I just feel like, you know, don't film that. You know, help them out. If you're really a good person, don't don't. Film I feel like if you're a really you good know? person, why are you needing to film it and put it up on the, exactly. on the internet? You know, I, exactly. I don't get it, man. I don't like it. I'm not it, it for does that. Not, I don't get feel good from any of those. I get very Yeah, they make me feel cringed out. Like, the bad cringe. Yeah, yeah The bad sure. cringe. Not the fun kind. No. The bad kind, where you're like, I can't stand to even watch this one more second. Yeah, it feels really dirty. Yeah, I don't I like it either. I hate those. Person. Now, if they were going around exterminating people, that would be different, because they had a different vibe to the video, you know? What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely be a different vibe. <laughs> It'd be funny if they still put that like that that inspirational music to it though. <laughs> that feels like something that in a real screwed up situation that that's probably how they would present it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, like in the future where they decide to exterminate the homeless and they are sending them off to camps and they're showing us little videos about it, like it's to help them and it's like all inspiration. Yeah, that is what they would do. That's totally what they would do. And then it's happen. basically like a holocaust of the homeless. They'd be like, look how clean the streets are and and everyone is happy. And the homeless are in their camps learning how to reintegrate into society, but they're just killing them all. 
Yeah, that, you never see them actually reintegrate. That's yeah. how you know. Every once in a while, one would, but it'd be like a government employee that that was their job. They just moved around uh, to different towns, being like, "Oh, I'm being recently integrated." A mole. Yeah. That that sounds like if it's, somebody out there's an author, there's a good idea. For I know. That. We just like laid out something for you that you could really use. Yeah, we both basically wrote the story for you. There you go. It's basically already written. Hoodia! 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 Oh my gosh, we just rocked him out like Taco Bell Tuesday. No, that's yeah, I had tacos today, actually. Dude, I always have tacos the night we play Final Fantasy XI. Man, I miss tacos. I want tacos so bad. I think that's the one thing where I'm like, man, if I broke my diet right now, I'd eat tacos. Wait, why can't you have tacos? Because I'm on a diet. But what is it about tacos that you can't I'm do? not doing. I'm, I'm not doing no carbs. Oh, it's the carbs. Okay. Carbs yeah, I've been doing, like, keto type stuff. I'll tell you what, though, that's dude. Fun. Something I made the other day that I was like, oh man, this is a game changer right here, is I took like some Parmesan cheese, right? A bunch okay. of it, and I melted it all together till it got like kind of crusty in a pan. And then okay. I took it out and I put pizza sauce on it and mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and dude, it was legit oh, good. It was legit nice. good. I was like, I could sell this. This this could be sold. It's so good. That's a good idea. I tried it first with another cheese blend. But the Parmesan only on the crust is the way to go, dude. For some reason, when it melts and crusts up together, it almost gives it this like thin crust pizza kind of taste. But it'd be almost like if uh, you were eating a pizza and the crust was made out of Cheez-Its or something. I don't know how to really explain it. It's oh, good though. Oh, okay. Well, it's I will good. say this to me, and I know this isn't true for everybody, but like for, to me, typically the bread product is just a whole to make it easier to eat yeah. the actual good stuff in it. You know what I mean? No, it so kind of like, is true. I'm not a big, like, I, I will hear some people go on and on about the crust of a pizza. Yeah, I don't really care kinda, that much about the crust. Yeah, that, that's meaningless to me. I'm, I'm like, like, you stuff know. cheese in the crust? All right, I'm there. And, and that changes things, right? Now you've, made the, now you've made the crust have something that I care about in it. You Dude, know? you know what they need to do? If anybody works for, like, a pizza restaurant as, like, a corporate chef or something like that, <laughs> like, if you work for Pizza Hut or Domino's or any of those places, here's what you guys need to get on right now. The crust is ch a, a chicken cordon bleu inside of it. Yeah! That's Ooh. what we need. That's what yeah, we that's need. That's what we need. That's what the world's missing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to make that when I'm not on this diet anymore. <laughs> kind of reaper says if I ever want to fail at something, I just started dying. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been going on this one for a while now. I've been done really well with it, and I think it's because this is going to sound a little crazy, but I think it's because I've ate so much crappy food my entire life that I'm I kind of am just tired of it. Like I don't even care oh, anymore. Yeah. Like I felt like yeah. I was got to a point where I was just eating food. For, for I, I don't you know what I mean is like I was over it kind of in a way yeah, I don't know how to sense. really put a real description on it but I was just like you know what I don't even care because I'm overeating this crap anyway yeah I can see that but tacos tacos will never die I want tacos yeah tacos are good dude oh I should make some for like cheese shell tacos I just realized I could do that yeah you could do that oh that's what I, I need to do the the Here's the thing. The burrito itself mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. probably the best delivery system to get yumminess inside your body I've ever seen in my life. You know what I mean? You oh, it is the best, man. Anything in there. Yeah, you just put whatever you want in there, you know? And just wrap it all up. It holds itself really well. It's not like a sandwich or a burger where it's slipping out the sides all the time. You really, it can happen. The other side can burst through. You know, yeah. it happens. But by but design, usually, it normally doesn't. By design, you just have to worry about the part you're actually biting into, and that's it, you know? Yeah, dude, I love it. Dude, that's why I love places like Barberitos, man. Yeah. I love just going to one of those and just going wild on a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know, it's funny though. I like those types of places, and I've been to a lot of different ones. But I'm not that big of a chan pan uh, fan of Chipotle. I th I don't know. I just think they're the weakest yeah. one of all of them. Yeah, I never got it. I never understood that. How, Everyone how acts like it's so the so best popular. one. Yeah, it's weird to me too. Dude, there's this one I went to in Denver called Little City Burrito, and it was one of the best ones of those type places I've ever went to. So good. Mm. It was local only? I think so. It's called, like, Big City Burrito or Little City Burrito, one of the two. I can't remember. They're awesome, though. It's so good. And I do, I just love, I even love classic old Mexican, American-style Mexican restaurants. Those, I love those. I can't help it. Yeah. Yeah. The Tex Mex kind of stuff. Like you go in and you're like, let me get a combination number five or whatever. And it's like got like a taco and like an enchilada or some rice and beans, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm over here just dreaming about Mexican food now, like, oh. <laughs> I gotta get a hold of myself here. Yeah, Mexican food's a hard one for your diet. I'm it's trying to so think. good, though, you know? It's, it's like really so good. good. Yeah, it's one of the best. I think I actually could do like I'll take like cheddar cheese and I'll like make it into taco shells. And then I could make tacos. It'll be awesome. That's what I'm going to do. You think that would work? Oh, yeah. Because all you got to do is get that cheese real good and crispy in a circle and then just fold it into a taco shell. There you go. It'll be awesome. It would bend, you think, after it's... Oh, yeah, it, it bends. It bends. <laughs> okay, okay. I've been experimenting a lot with it. <laughs> He's got some stuff in the works. I do, because I've been... I, I'm actually running a special at work right now, too, where there's a, a there's a crispy cheese layer on it like that. Oh, sounds good. I'm going to start a diet YouTube channel. You, you, you know what <laughs> like I a wish, cooking dude? channel. You know how, does everybody know I'm talking about how Taco Bell will just, um, they'll just, like, experiment very wildly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You can almost go any time and look at the menu and be like, oh, there's something new. I'll try that. You know? Um, I wish Taco John's would be that experimental. Yeah, dude, me too. Because they got higher quality. They got some good stuff like, there. It's not, like, the highest quality in the world. No, it's still fast, fast food. food. But yeah, it's, it's it's up there. You know, it's 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 dancing around with Chick Fil A quality sometimes. You know. Yeah, dude, Taco John, especially, dude, man, uh, their grilled burritos are there are amazing. They are so good. But I just wish they would be more experienced. Like I love how Taco Bell would just be like, oh, uh, a grilled cheese empanada. Sure, we'll try that. Whatever. You know, like I, I love that about them. Have you ever had like, that stuffed taco from Taco John's that they have? Yes, I have. That thing's crazy, dude. It's good. It is good. I like Taco John's a lot. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I was super happy when I found one up here. Oh, that's cool. There's one up there. The closest one to me is Elizabeth, and I never go there. Yeah, I remember me and you used to go there every once in a while. Yeah, now that I'm all the way out in Kingsport all the time, I'm like, I ain't, I ain't driving all the way to Elizabeth yeah. for anything. Heard that area is going downhill. Elizabethan or the whole area? <laughs> Elizabethan. You could say that about the whole area. Dude, I'll tell you what's really went downhill. I know this is like probably people who are watching the stream are like, I don't know these towns, whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> We're talking about the area near Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Everybody knows that area. Yeah, uh, dude, I'll tell you a place that's gone downhill to where I'm, I am so glad that I randomly, because I didn't move to Kingsport because of, the, because of any of this. It was just because of the business is why I moved to Kingsport. But, uh, Johnson City has went downhill so bad, dude, that I would not feel safe for my son to live there. Whoa. It's gotten so bad, man. There's, like, shootings all the time. It's, like, dangerous to go outside downtown. It's nuts, dude. Oh, my gosh. We used to, like, literally live outside at nighttime. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's Near it's all not. The bars and it's stuff. crazy now, and it's crazy because it's still really. It's even more popular than it ever was. There's always tons and tons and tons of people downtown, but man, they're always shooting each other and stuff. It's crazy. John City's got nuts. I'm glad I don't live there anymore, to be honest. Well, that's sad. Man, yeah. dude, it turns out you know how we used to always make fun of Kingsport all the time. Yeah. It turns out that Kingsport is one of those towns. Where once you're a little older, it, it rules. I think that's the way it's always been. Yeah. 
we're, we're just, just young. Up to it. Dude, now I'm like, this town rules. Everybody leaves me alone. Nobody bothers me <laughs> anywhere I go. <laughs> All the stuff that I hey, need to get to still here. <laughs> I've got a question. Uh, I hope somebody. I hope. I hope somebody knows the answer to. Is Taco Bell mm. a majority um, franchise type company, or are they super corporate? I don't know. Uh, the I think that you can franchise one. I want to say reason, you can. I, I, the reason I'm asking that question is because we found one Taco Bell, okay, mm -hmm. near us. That is freaking awesome. Like, high quality. Like, as soon as you take a bite, you're like, oh my gosh, this is what it used to taste like when I was a kid. Um, like, really good. And every other Taco Bell I've ever been to for years has just been slowly declining into just the worst yeah. possible food you can eat, you know? Might just depend on your Taco Bells, though, you know? Like, if like, dude, that one Taco Bell in, in Johnson City that's down... The one we used to always go to. That one's still good, dude. All the rest of the ones in the whole Tri-City sucks, though. Sounds like there was a technical difficulty of some sort. I do like the Chalupa. I was in Japan, like zero slums. Wait, what the heck is going on here? What is happening? Something weird is going on. Can you can? I don't know what's happening here. I think we're having some kind of technical difficulty by chance, maybe. What the heck is going on here? Weird. Can you guys still h hear me? I wonder. Over on Nathan's channel. Testing, can you hear me oh, now? Oh, I can hear you now. Dude, freaking OBS is such a piece of crap. I'm so sick of it, dude. What did it, it do For now? no reason, it just was like it didn't recognize my mic. Well, dirt, so while settings. you were using it? Oh my god. While we were live. Like, just all of a sudden, it just was like, Well, I don't know about that mic anymore. Um, And I had to go, I had to go and... At first, I kept going back through it, changing it to default, looking for it. It wasn't there. It wasn't even showing my mic, even though Windows was showing my mic. Um, and then finally, I just unplugged my mic and plugged it back in. It was just start working. That's crazy, dude. I hate OBS. It's, it always I'm, is doing stuff I like that, too. I, am, I, I would never, if OBS was like, please say one nice thing about us or we're all going to die in a fire, I would be, I would be like, Because I hate them. I hate them. I hate OBS. I hate it. It's garbage. They need to... I'm surprised nobody's really tried to really come up with Somebody. 
Please, you could compete and win so easily. Every streamer hates OBS. I promise you. It does dumb stuff to us 24-7. It makes us look stupid. It it just will work, not work. It just, you know, it just does whatever it wants to do. It's awful. Like, if I could find a, a really good one, I'd pay for it. I would, too. I would, too. I would 100% pay for one if it, if it could do everything I need to do, mm -hmm. which isn't much, to be honest. Yeah. Actually, OBS using garbage. using OBS, I feel like there's a lot of room for upgrades and improvements too. Yeah. So definitely. if there was a paid version of something like that, I would definitely pay just to support like it further being developed. I would too, a hundred percent. Okay, that's tough. We should probably have, well. There's four of us now. What do you guys think? We've been we've not really even been having much trouble. That's a goblin tinkerer, man. How's your mana right now? Oh my gosh, I should have been healing that whole time. <laughs> yeah, let's let's rest up for a second, then I think we can take that team. Dude, I'm so used to like modern games where like your MP just starts coming back no matter what. Yeah. It spoiled me, dude. It spoiled me. Yeah, it is weird coming to this game where you literally get nothing unless you're resting. Yeah, you have got to. There ain't no joking around. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Our, our, our tank says we can do it, so let's do it. Who's our tank? Moose Lick? Makalika. Yeah, yeah. Mac well, actually, Mikilica. Nostalgic might be. I haven't really been paying attention, actually. Yeah, maybe Action Nostalgic might actually be a little bit better just because he's already got a sub job. We've got three warriors in the group, so it's a little confusing. But if one of us gets hurt, the good thing about this situation is we can just swap around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dang. It's hitting hard. Yeah, I'm going to pull it here in a second let it hit me a couple of times. Dude, being a healer in this game ain't no joke. No. no. He didn't pay much attention to me, but a little bit. Oh, there's horse meat in my ears. I think it might be good for you. I think it might be good for you. The horse meat? Yeah. It is. It's good. It, like, I think it keeps infections from spreading in your ears. Oh no, why did in the world I accidentally and I just, cured myself? You guys still can't hear me, or is that somebody that's still back when I was broke? Double check. Yeah, okay, they must be a little bit behind. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jonesboro Deluxe! The Jonesboro Deluxe. You know what I want to do soon? I want to take a trip to those mounds. You know what I'm talking about? I think they're in Indiana. Is that right? The mounds? The Native American things? Yeah. 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 You know what those really are, right? Everybody knows that those are pyramids, right? They just won't, that's they what, won't do Yeah, it. that's what some, some theories say. I believe it 100%. Because, let me tell you something. Most of the pyramids in the um, Aztec... Actually, in Mexico, it's fairly common. Renfell, uh, who lives there, talks about it all the time. You'll drive by and be like, you can see that, like, that hill, there's parts of, like, ruins, like Mayan temples sticking out. But it's not an area they really want to get tourists to, so they don't ever do it. It just sits there with dirt growing on it. Um, Weird. And I, in my opinion... They just don't want us, and and I think things are changing on this. And I think eventually we'll get to see what's really going on there. But like, they just don't want to talk about how advanced the people before were who lived here at some point. You know what I mean? Oh, that would be interesting. So they, just, they just leave them buried. But I want to go look at them because there's something going on there. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. just piles of dead people. Come on now. I don't believe that. It would just rot. It wouldn't be a hill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some, something going on there. I think there's temples. I also saw that uh, 
Apparently, in the 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 Chinese government uh, just covers up pyramids that were apparently in China. And, oh, and, wow. and just like plant trees all over them and stuff. Makes sense. That I mean, I don't know. I, that may not be a fact. That's just what the, China's the thing so going old. around right now. Yeah, that land, man. Uh, I, yeah. That would not be shocking at all to me. Also, the way how the their government is, I wouldn't be surprised for them to cover it up. Yeah. For whatever reason. For any reason. No. So, I, all governments are pretty nasty, to be honest. Yeah. Concept uh, of the game is to constantly be swapping into different gear sets. This game? Yeah, a little bit. I've heard it in game. I hear there's a lot of that. I don't know about in classic though. I'm not sure. In this game? In Final Fantasy XI, yeah. I've heard of that where people have like different, they'll have tons of gear because I think they even made it easy to do that with that one thing that Tetsu was showing us. Mm. So that you can switch gear sets real quickly. You can't do it in battle, can you? Well, you can switch gear sets for that class, but not you can't just change classes all of a sudden. Yeah. Sapling, let's kill him. I, I like these ruins actually of this windmill. Is it actually a? I don't know if that's a ruin, dude. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm not. looking at it. And I think that this is currently in use. <laughs> you, but is it repurposed? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. <clears throat> I get the feeling it may be just repurposed. Like it's already here. <laughs> ancient windmill. <laughs> oh, the ancient windmill of North. <laughs> Pork and beans, the movie. Dun 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 dun. I think they're still working on our um, on our stream from last week, the movie version. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> you think? Do you think? Do you ever think that Hollywood will run out? Ideas so bad that they do make movies out of streamers. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably, <laughs> it'll happen one day. I bet. They're like, this movie's like a, based on a, a real stream. I could see a movie coming out called Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah. True story. Where they're making a movie about the life of a streamer or something. I could see that. But what if they made a movie <laughs> that was based on a stream, one like a specific stream? stream. Yeah. On one specific stream. <laughs> and it was just a regular stream too. It wasn't any nothing like historical happened or anything like it's that. Like it's like Final just, Fantasy you know. Eleven Horizon Eleven <laughs> server the movie. <laughs> and then it's like this movie is based on a true stream. <laughs> oh, would they have to credit back to the original stream so that you yeah. could go and watch? So you could go watch the original one. <laughs> like dang, that movie did a good job. That was. <laughs> That'd be so and sad. And there'll be people like the original stream was better. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would. <laughs> they would definitely be acting like that, man. Oh, it's a strolling sampling, just like Grandma used to cook. I feel like you could probably cook something good out of this, don't you? Yeah, I bet you could. I bet there's some kind of milk in there. You know, like yeah, a I coconut. Bet. I bet there is. It's blood is coconut milk. <laughs> Dude, do you remember... Um, okay, so... Do you remember... I think it was a PlayStation 2 era game, I'm pretty sure. But do you remember a game series? They ended up making, like... Back in the day, they made two of them. And then later on, they made, like... They changed the style of the game and put out another one. But uh, the, the game series called Blood Rain... Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, yeah. I recently bought all three of those. Got ported to the Switch, right? <laughs> I recently bought all three of them. I haven't got them in the mail yet, but I'm. <laughs> I bet they're gonna be hilarious. Yeah, I rem weren't they kind of like a genericish kind of feeling uh, Devil May Cry? Kind yeah, of? kind of, but it had like this vampire? weird vampire element. Yeah, you had to like yeah. jump on people and drain their health <laughs> to get your health back. I do remember that. And her name was Rain. Was yeah, it? and she fight Nazis and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, that was totally what it was, yeah. It was like Nazis and zombies, or, yeah, Nazis and stuff. But, but the third game they made, I don't know if you remember this, but randomly out of nowhere, 
in the Xbox 360 days, they released another game called Blood Rain Betrayal, right? Okay. And instead of like being like a 3D action Devil May Cry esque type game, it was a like a like a side scrolling 2D animated like uh, anime style like a, almost like a Castlevania or something maybe. I remember that. I, d I had no interest in it, but I do remember. Yeah, I'm gonna play it and see if it's any good. Just for funs, just for funs. I'm always growing my Switch collection too. I'm a weirdo about it. I end up making myself have the most crazy, dumb, expensive hobby. This is even gonna be better than Mini Ninjas. Mini Ninjas? Like the streamer? Oh, no, dude, there was, there was this game that came out a while back. Oh, Min yeah. Mini Ninjas. It was like a, a, what's that art style called? Um, Raw Sleep, I think. Um, what is that? Like a chibi style yeah, it was ninja kind of that. running around? Yeah. Dude, I was watching this video of this these people playing that, and they were just going on about how, how it was like the... Just the most nostalgic game for them. <laughs> it's kind of cracking me up. That's weird. Huh? They were like, they were really like loving it. They were putting all the good things to say about it. Like they were being so ridiculous about it for a second, just for a second. I was like, I kind of want to play it. <laughs> I tell you something. I saw recently was um, it was I think the director for the Last of Us series. Yeah. And um, and he was talking about they were asking if he really did play games, right? Have you seen this interview? No. Yeah, they're asking him if he actually played video games, and he was like, yeah, one time I went really hardcore into a game and didn't sleep and couldn't stop playing it. And you know what game he was talking about, dude? What? Listen, by the way, I'm not saying this is a bad game or anything. I think it is a good game. But it's just weird that this is his entire gaming experience. Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> How random. Man, look, I think that's a good game. I think it's a really good platformer, especially for the time, but... It just is bizarre to hear him go on and on about how he couldn't sleep and and because of that game he realized that he couldn't play video games because his personality get too addicted. Like, well dang dude, I can't imagine what would have happened to you if you'd have played an actually engaging hardcore story, you know, something yeah. that really gets you invested. Like, that's just a platform. My <laughs> nuts <No>, is <laughs> Banjo-Kazooie. That's kind of cool. I can't play games. Oh my god. This is back too, in the, too crazy. Back in the year 1999 when I got hooked. Hooked on Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. dude. We need to make that into a skit. <laughs> Where a guy like who's never played video games ever. He finally decides he wants to try them out, and we'll make it to where he gets addicted to a, a dumb game to be addicted <laughs> yeah. to. Just, basically like Banjo-Kazooie. And he loses everything because of it. <laughs> loses his job, loses his wife, loses his kids. Everything. Ends up homeless. Yeah. And it's like 20 years later, right? And then that's when it shows that he's homeless. And in this point in time, he's got a mobile phone and he's playing an emulation of Banjo-Kazooie out, <laughs> like, laying in some trash. He's like, I almost got the last jiggly. <laughs> or whatever they're called. I think that's what they're called. Oh, my God. I should be leveling up in Lotro. Look, that's a Tuesday problem. Uh -huh. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. That's a Tuesday problem. Dude, that sheep Today is actually really mad. Dude, how mad is it? Oh, I'd say it's pretty mad. Is he mad or does he have the mad disease? He's the mad sheep disease. <laughs> He's got the mad sheep disease. He didn't like you saying that about him. I oh, know, he's being a real jerk about it too. You exposed him in front of everybody. Dude, he hit me right in the in the in the mooch. <laughs> right in the snoochberg. <laughs> the snoochberg. 
He needs to back off Jinkuri. me because now I'm out of MP. I gotta heal. Listen, I love Banjo Kazooie too, and I still do. And I played it recently when he got relaunched. I'm just saying that's a weird game for you to like be like, oh my gosh, I lost it. I didn't know where I was. I was <laughs> yeah. for three days. My skin was stuck to the couch. I had to pill myself. I had to get a doctor to surgically remove me. Like, that's just a little. It's Banjo Kazooie, bro. Like, I don't think any platformer good. ever got me like that outside of Mario. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid, like Mario Bros. It's some Sonic. Crazy. Some Sonic, too. You know, I always like Sonic, but I I can honestly say I have never like loved it. You know what I mean? No, I, I know exactly cool. what you mean. And I thought the graphics were cool and the animations were cool and I had fun playing it. But I can honestly say I never loved it like I did Mario. Yeah, same. Mario's just better, I'm sorry to say, guys. It, just, it is. Let's just be honest, it is. It's it's it just Sonic is, is Sonic good. Is cool. Old school Sonic is good. Yes, but it was good. Mario's is just more fun. Mario is better. At the end and of the day, and that, that hurts my feelings to say because I was a Sega kid, and um, but it just is, man. It just is. It's better. <laughs> yeah, it totally is. Zelda FTWs. Yeah, Zelda's awesome. I'm a huge fan. Dude, the original, the OG Zelda. original Zelda is just. He's probably one in the top three most important games of my gaming child. <laughs> yeah. My, my gaming yeah. childhood, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But there's just something so legendary, literally legendary, about the Legend <laughs> of Zelda, dude. It's it's a it's nuts. There is. It is true. It's just such a classic. You can't it's one of those games now to this day there. Like I feel it's totally a fun game. Like, because you, there's so many different ways to play it portable now. If you're, like, sitting on a bus or something, and you're just sitting there waiting for your stop, and you're playing Old School Legend of Zelda, you're good. You're good to go. We're going to make a trip to the uh, to town soon. I am full on inventory. I'm going to drop some of silly stuff. Oh, you mean in the game? Yeah. I thought you were about to go to town now in the storm. <laughs> no, I definitely don't want to do that. We'll be missing out on freaking. Oh wait, no, probably not on this server. You probably can't transfer to that Mog thing on this server, can you? I don't know. I'll ask Tetsu when he gets here. Hopefully, Tetsu makes it. He's usually here by now. Yeah, he might have got the Gatlinburg fungus though. With our group, we could probably fight some of the stuff in the dunes. You think so? I don't know. Maybe. Where is uh? We lost um. He ran away. He said he had to to go to the a sa a, some kind of sales event. You serious? In his local town. Oh, he really is gone. I missed it. What did he? Did he really have to leave, or did he just get? I don't know. Actually, I didn't notice. I was too caught up in the woods. There's old Taryn. Yeah, I think he might have just went late then. He went LD, yeah, Larry David style. Oh, no, never mind. I forgot. We had new windows. He said, I gotta go for a bit. Kids' bath and bedtime, and he'll be back in a bit. That's All right, well, it's just us three. We should stay out here, then. Actually, would it be okay if we took a short break, actually? I know. Yeah, that'll work. That Let's move up nuts, here but... so there's no... Move up here so there's no goblins near this windmill. Actually, it's a wolf zombie here. That looks Let's kill dangerous. that wolf zombie. Let's kill the wolf zombie, and then we'll go. That way he doesn't kill us. I'll do a cure on you. He's easy, so. Eco the Dolphin, yeah, that was, that was, you know, I'm gonna say this. Eco the Dolphin was always a beautiful game. Was it really a good game, though? Was it really, I mean, dig deep. Dig deep. Was it really? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I will admit that it was super cool at the time. It was uh, fascinating and awesome for the time. I'll tell you a game that was on Sega that I loved. That was a super fun to play, and if anybody missed out on them, they were definitely worth going to uh, going back and playing. Especially now because they've remastered, they've basically remade them. They're all cool and animated looking now. Uh, is the uh, Monster World or the uh, Wonder Wonder Boy? Games. Oh, Wonder Boy! Yeah, dude, those are sweet, dude. Yeah, those are good. They remade them, made them look really cool. Dude, I, I hate to say this because I feel like those games are what. 
Legend of Zelda 2 was trying to be. I agree with that. Yeah, that's what it meant. That's what it was going for. Yeah, and like maybe it's responsible for the, that the creation I'm of sure it Wonder. Is. The, I, I just think that, that those are great games. I'll say this. Legend of Zelda 2. Oh Phoenix. my gosh, they're doing this to me again. Hold on a second. Uh-oh. This is about what Grando Reaper just said. Oh, red alert. Waiting list for Pixel Remaster. This is not a drill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here I go again. Can I pull it off? Oh, okay, oh we killed gosh. the zombie. Well, I'll, I'll take care of what I need to do at the same time while I'm trying to do this. I'm going to go on a short break. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break, guys. Give us a couple minutes. We'll be right back with more Final Fantasy XI and talking about weird stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll be right mm -hmm. back. <laughs> It's a YouTube channel. That's a good burger. That's a good burger. That was a good burger. Mid City Grill. The burgers are good. That's 
Remember to eat breakfast every day. <laughs> Remember to always eat your breakfast. I really like shrimp. I want to put those shrimps on my lips. I want to chew them up with my teeth. Because, 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 because I really like shrimp. I want to chew them up. I want to put them on my lips. I really like shrimp. I want to put those shrimp right on my lips. Shrimp. They swim around in the ocean. And you can eat them. Brush your teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth. I am back. Brush, 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 brush. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh wait, I think I heard him. Oh yeah, I'm back. I heard a rustling. What's up, Steve? I have returned. All right. And we got it. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa! This wolf zombie. Uh oh. We came back just in time. Just in time. Dang, dude. Attack. Was... Dude, look how crazy these look. By the way. I know they look good. That's cool. I always love the character because they're the monster design in this game. I think the monster design in this game. Mm, never mind. That's not true. It's about what and what. I was going to say I think it's better than it is in Final Fantasy XIV, but actually, they're about what and what, to be honest. Yeah. I think I just prefer earlier 3D graphics sometimes. I just. I, I, I just can respect it more because they had less to work with. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. I don't think it's better. I'm not blind. I just right. respect it more. I just respect it more. I'm eating a piece of cheese. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, I can't wait to you. Uh, hopefully, um, if one day you can, come up to Wisconsin to try some Wisconsin cheese because it ain't no lie. It it's ain't good. no lie. It really is the best cheese you'll ever have. It's good. They ain't lying about their dairy. Their dairy is good. The ice cream's good too. Okay. Heck yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like the good stuff right there. I'll tell you one thing they think they have around here that they think is good, but they've never been to the south. Fish. They oh, think their really? fish is good. It ain't good, dude. Their fish here sucks. That sucks. The water's too cold. The water's too cold, man. You can't have good fish when they're frozen half the year. <laughs> frozen fish will never beat fresh fish straight plucked right out of a river, okay, in the south. In that nice, warm stream. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. It's impossible. I like some good fish. I like freshwater fish. I do, too. I like I like saltwater fish too, but I do too. But I, I way more. Enjoy yeah. it. If I get to pick, I'll pick freshwater. Dude, I really like trout, say? dude. Trout is good. Trout's good. I like just good old uh, what's it called? Um, crappie. I just like good old crappie, man. That's good. Them crappies. Eating. Them crappies. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Those are good too. It's good eating, man. I've even had my fill of bluegill. Oh, I love bluegill. They're little. Not a lot of meat on them, but no. they're good. A lot of bones. Yeah, that's the one thing that sucks about fish is their bones suck, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. I, you know, I've gotten, as I'm older now, though, I feel like it's part of the experience, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know how to deal with it now, too, so. Yeah, it's part of the experience. It is annoying. It's scary. It's scary feeding to young children. Oh, yeah, that's where, dude. That's, that's where it's like... Yeah, I don't even think scary. I'm gonna mess with that. Yeah. I don't think I would either. So they're probably not gonna like it anyway. Young kids, that's Dude, my kid will not know. even try fish. He calls it nasty old fish. Nasty old fish. <laughs> and he thinks and it's like he thinks that I that that's all I eat too. He'll be like <laughs> I'll be like, what do you wanna make what should we make for dinner tonight? He'll be like, you can have nasty old fish. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Kids are awesome. Yeah, they're hilarious. Perch is good, yep. Oh yeah, I've had my fair share of that too. I still I prefer I prefer I prefer crappy to perch though. Yeah. In the south! 
in the south. If you live in the north, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I like I like catfish even. Catfish is good, especially fresh catfish. Yeah, I've had some that is not good, but I've had some that's amazing. Uh oh, it's doing the ultimate bee attack. I, there's just something about the shape of the bones that I think even if it was small, you still choke. Or, or even if you didn't choke, I think the bones could get lodged in your intestines. Yeah, Am they're I so. Wrong? They're so. The, well, the the real threat of them I've heard is that they're easy to get stuck in your throat and make you choke. Yeah, that's what I always heard. But I think that there's also a danger of them ripping your intestines. Yeah, there could be during man. digestion. I, I, I remember I got one stuck in my throat one time when I was like, getting it sucked. Oh, I did too. I did too. I thought it was going to kill me, and it hurt. It, like, ripped its way down. I Ugh. remember. That one time we worked at a call center, um, you know, like, I don't remember if... I think it was just our fault that this would happen, but a lot of times we'd be eating our lunch while we're t t in between calls. we yeah. just try to cram something down our throats real quick between uh, the next call. And I was eating a steak, I remember. And a, a call came, right? It's like a big chunk, and I tried to just swallow it early. Like, way too <laughs> early. And dude, I almost died. I almost died. Dude. I was, like, in panic mode. And then finally it went down. You're like, uh, thank you for calling. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even do anything. I didn't even warn anybody. I embarrass myself. I'll just die. I'm not going to stand up and make Charleston over there run over and give me the <laughs> <laughs> Well, Teresa Davis right over here and embarrassed Oh my god. I have to owe her for my life for the rest of my She's life. She's probably still sitting there in that same spot, though. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever, is this a common dream for everybody where you'll, you'll dream, you'll dream that it's present day. Okay, not like you went back in the past. You'll dream that it's today, right? And you're this old, etc. But you'll you'll forget about what you do for a living now, and you'll think that you forgot to go to work at some really old job like 20 years ago, and that you're trying to just show up like nothing happened, even though you've been missing for 20 years. Anybody else have dreams common like that? Like uh, often? I don't. I gotta say. I do. It'll be like Little Caesars, my first job ever, and I will literally sometimes, or or when we worked at that call center, where I like, I, it's like in the dream, I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't went to work in like years. <laughs> what am I doing? They're gonna be pissed. Oh my god. And I just try to try to just show up there and just try to act natural. And they're like, excuse me, sir, you don't work here anymore. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, you haven't been to work in 20 years. <laughs> That's a good Chris funny skit. I had that dream often. Random. That's a crazy I'll be one. We try to sneak back in. I'll be like really distressed about it. You know, like I'm screwed if I. But what's funny about the dream is like, bro, if you haven't showed up in 20 years, obviously you don't need a job. You know? Yeah. I don't know why it's so stressful. <laughs> Maybe you don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be like some kind of crazy, weird stress dream. <laughs> I wonder what causes that. That happens to me a lot. It's all I've always had those dreams too. And that's why he was always a good employee. Yeah, because I'm that worried about. That's not true. I I have been a good employee before. I've also been a very bad employee. I mean, too. yeah. Oh, sweet Henrietta, grant me your powers. Oh, I have it about school, too. Yeah, that happens, too. That's a good call-out. I forgot about that. Where I like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't been to school in forever. It's been. I'm probably failing chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Everyone's running away. Yeah, I'm going to look for something to kill. Oh, wait, Tetsu. Does he Tetsu? Hey, can you throw me? Oh, oh, Tetsu's here. I thought Tetsu could just jump in voice chat. I could sworn. Get him in here. Hey, Tetsu! Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? What's uh, up? Do you, uh, we, there's three of us right now. Um, I guess you know that. But, um... Uh, uh, the, uh... 
Kilika, the warrior, is coming back. They had to put their kids in bed. They should actually be back fairly soon, probably. Oh, Essence says he has that same dream, but about college. That makes sense, too. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, uh, earlier I was listening, uh, driving home, was listening to your conversation, and I know that Mario is, is better than Sonic, but I will say... Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast was my Mario. Oh, that was a good one, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It that was, was probably the best one. Especially Sonic. at the that time. That was the best one. I would actually say I had more fun playing Sonic Adventure than even the old Sonics. And I know that's blasphemy, but I really had a lot of fun playing Sonic Adventure. Yeah, me too, man. You would actually brought the Dreamcast over to my house and we played Sonic Adventure. And I was like, whoa, crazy. Yeah, yeah Hub World and, and 3D Sonic voice acting. And then when that whale comes and jumps, I was yeah. like, I'm sold. Oh, yeah, on that first level, such a good opening to the like game. a round whale, not just like a polygon whale. Yeah, it's actually like Shamu. It yeah. looked good. It still looks good. I played the game recently, I was like, dude, that whale still looks good. Nah, that's a nice whale. Now that's a nice whale. I'm going to do top ten uh, games with sexiest whales. <laughs> that one's dude, that one's gonna win, I think. I can't think of one better. Now there's some good ones in Echo the Dolphin on the drink. Yeah, I was about well. to say Echo the Dolphin. And and you could do the wind fish from Link's Awakening. Ooh, that's a good one. And you'd have to show the OG one and the new the one. Yeah. How about mechanical whales from Mega Man X? They had like the whale but the animal bosses. I know there was a whale somewhere in there. There you go. There's so Brando many Reaper. Good ones. Grendel Reaper says, I've had dreams of being a smuggler and being attacked by a paladin. I hate to break it to Grendel Reaper, but those were multiplayer dreams and I was the paladin. <laughs> that was a multiplayer dream. Watch out, there's the 8-6 driver. I wish we could do that, by the way. Would that not be a cool technology if you could be like, hey, Steve, let's hook up and do some multiplayer dreams tonight? That would be sweet, <laughs> dude. That would be cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be freaking awesome. Especially and then, like, the technology get better and, hey... Come join me in my dream tonight. What are dreaming about Be living in EverQuest and Norath? Come join me. I swear I'm going to try to not have a nightmare this time. Oh, but guys, when you wake up, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> I, 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 I've had multi multiplayer dreams, but I'm not part. Like, apparently I'm part of it, but I'm not part of it. So I, maybe it is multiplayer, but my wife wakes up and blames me for something I, oh, I did. I'm like, that's a, I guess that's I was a classic. <laughs> it's a classic. That's a classic. My wife only. My wife only did that when, like, at the early beginning of like our marriage. But I remember a couple times I'd be like, "Are you mad at me for something?" She'd be like, "Yeah, I am." I'd be like, "For what?" She'd be like, "I had a bad dream about you." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna go play a video game." <laughs> Essen, what you're talking about is called Sonic and Knuckles, and it was awesome. Yes, that's a. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. You plugged you in could... Sonic Three. Into yeah. The... I really How cool learned... is that? They How cool is that? That was supposed to be one game, and they split it up into two. That's what happened with that. Yeah, I yeah. That. I just found that out recently, too. We probably watched the same video. Mm -hmm. I'm heading over to you guys. It looks like uh, if you could send me an invite, if you're the lead. Yeah, I am. Isn't there something weird about your name? Mm, no, it was Tetsu with an I. Oh, with an I. That's what I was saying. Yeah. It's like Tetsui. Tetsui. Mm -hmm. I like that extra song. Isn't that that chick's name for My Hero Academia? That frog girl? Mm, I don't know. It's similar, but not quite. It's something oh, like I that. I think we might have. I got this name, which I feel like no one would guess. I got it because uh, I got it from Inuyasha's sword called Tetsaiga. Okay. And then I shortened it because I didn't want to write Tetsaiga every time in all my MMOs. So that's how I came up with this one. It was like alternative to Tetsu. Oh, he's here. I thought, I thought nostalgic. Ah! Uh. We were there. Is he? Oh, he's already moving down. Oh, or no, he's coming, to he's coming to us. Oh, you guys on that entrance. Okay. Yeah, we went to Konstant Highlands. There's okay. nostalgic. I swear you guys were in a uh, thing, but okay. Oh, look, it's not catfish, it's fatfish. Figures that would happen again. So, well, we need just two DPS and then we could, uh. Yeah, where do, you, where do you want to meet at? Uh, come to the outpost, because we probably should go over to, um, uh, the crabs over here in, uh, in the oasis. So, yeah, come over to the outpost. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna do crabs tonight. Nice. Those are good eating. 
That's a square. I don't have crabs. I'm just gonna be fighting them tonight. That's all. Fight them back. But you don't have them. That cream is an accident. I just I meant to buy something else. Foot cream. That's what it was. Lotions and creams for the children. So, Professor Smoothbrain, are you referring to like retail or like plastic server? Oh no! No, did he see us? Oh crap! He did. There's a goblin butcher after you. He's gonna cut yeah, you I'm up. I'm gonna run him. I'm gonna run him. I'm gonna run him. I think somebody got him. him. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, it's nostalgic. <laughs> he's but trying he to stopped. fight him, so we gotta go back and help. Yeah, but look how much hit yeah, points that he him. has. Heal him real quick. I think maybe we can do it, because he... Dang it. Come on, stupid... Like, he changed his class, I think, to do oh, that. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's unsynced right now, so he just killed him real quick. Yeah, because I noticed that he had, like, a that's ton of health. That's why his hit points are low. Yeah, that's why his hit points are low. Yeah, he actually had way more health than us, <laughs> still. 425. Ten at a time for a dime. Yeah, I do still see new players hopping in Final Fantasy XI, especially on this server. Yeah. This is, like, seriously the best place you can hop in new and have a good old school time. Tons it's of like, new players. It's always at, like, three and a half to 4,000 K, like, every, every night. time. Yeah, yeah, all night long, dude. I've got up at, like... It it's kind of shocking, really. Yeah, there's people that, like, everywhere. People you know, in, like the over, like maybe after the first few weeks, it like died down or whatever. It's like a thousand or twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what but I it's, thought. It sits at four thousand at peak. I wonder how long so it will good, take man. for it to die. I think this is it. I think it'll be. I mean, obviously, at some point, it's going to take a little bit of a. But I think for years, this server, dude. Wow. Every other Years. server like came here, like everybody. It just had, it had, you know. I'm not gonna say why it got so big, but well, I guess he's ninja. You know, he was yeah. behind a, a lot of it, and uh, and because of that, it, it just everyone from all the other servers came to it. So ninja's it's just the ultimate last, private server. The last yeah, ninja, off. ninja played on the other private server for a long time and like brought a lot of attention. Are you talking about that famous like, guy? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the streamer. streamer oh, I didn't know he played this streamer. kind of stuff. Yeah, this was yeah. his jam back in the day. So when he found out about a private classic server, it wasn't this one. This one wasn't out yet. Um, he went buck wild and he quit playing Fortnite for like a long time. It was just playing Final Fantasy XI. Wow. And um, and then he had his fun. You know what I mean? He got out of it what he wanted to get out of it. And then Dawn, but um, I think Tetsu is referring to, did he mention this server? Like, oh, that's exciting. There's a new, or something like that. Yeah, that I mean, mean? I, I don't know what exactly it is, but apparently he's... He has something to do with the server in some former manner, and so he's he's got he's got they've got his backing. Um, I wonder if they fund. I wonder if he helped fund it. Uh, I I don't say that because you know since it is private. Oh server, yeah yeah so yeah. So I just say that he's he's supporting them in every, yeah. whichever fashion. He something is. happened. And, uh, something happened. Interesting. Yeah. Totally yeah. legal. Something totally legal happened, yeah. and um you know. So yeah, that's why it's so big. So everyone's coming to this one, and uh, it's supposed to be also. One big difference between this one and every other one is everyone who are kind of like progression servers or they start somewhere and keep going. This one is supposed to be, they're going to keep going expansion wise, but they're going to keep the cap at 75. Yeah. So that you get gonna... the new content, but your gear doesn't become irrelevant and stuff like that. Yeah, which is a really cool idea. So, like, they're going to change the content in such a way to where you can still be level 75. And it'd be more horizontal progress instead of leveling up. Yeah. Which they're gonna is crazy. Bring down, they're going to bring down, like, the new content. So, like, let's say you have to fight, I don't know, Eden at, and he's normally 100, or Knights around at 100. I guess they're going to keep it so that you can still fight him at 75 as long as you got the gear or whatever. Yeah. And when we're uh, fighting those crabs, if we happen to see a, a, a one of those uh, flies, the damsel flies, we should kill them every once in a while to try to get the uh, drops. Yeah, and yeah, we can Steve get and... flies, uh, crabs, and if we see cools out here, but oh yeah, the crabs, I forgot they do drop the, the apron. apron. I forgot about apron, it. Yeah. You know you love those crab aprons. I do. 
Okay, so we probably want to grab two more. Just... Eden. That's the one he played on. That's right, Professor Smoothbrain. Yeah, that's, that's I played on Eden. Uh, oh, that's smart, Jarrett. So what he did is he got on the dev stream and donated a bunch of money. That's legal. You can do that. He's not, you know what I'm saying? He, just, yeah. he was donating to a stream. You see? That's smart. Yeah, those dead, they can use the money however they want after that. Yeah. Yeah, because that was just them streaming. That's how I'm going to start laundering money. <laughs> it's actually. Uh, I bet there's people yeah. doing it already, like hardcore. Yeah. Be like, okay, you can buy my drugs, <laughs> but I need you to buy them on my live stream Tuesday nights. <laughs> 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 I need this to go through the cleaning my money, you see. Um, oh, I was gonna say, uh, could, you, <laughs> could you invite? There, there's like 12 people seeking. If you can grab like two, uh, yes, we should be fine. Or maybe okay. that, that red mage. There's a red mage seeking. I, here's what I'm gonna do, because I uh, have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know how you're even knowing that. So I'm gonna pass leadership <laughs> to you. I sensed it, but okay. <laughs> okay, I gave it to you. Thank you. Go ahead and grab. I'll grab a. A red mage to help uh, Steve heal, and... This time was a good server, too. I played that one for a while. Yeah, I played Nisomi first, then I played Eden. I didn't like Wings, because Wings was like Wings of the yeah. Goddess expansion, and I didn't like anything past Treasures of Adorga or whatever. Yeah, I agree with that. Dun 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 This is crazy that like there's people everywhere in this game. This is yeah. like the most packed thing of way I've ever seen. The, the first day was crazy. There was like th like two, three dozen people sitting at the entrance of the dunes, just like looking for party. Like ten white mages, we're all just sitting there healing ourselves just to get our healing up or whatever. It was pretty cool. Just like that time in the wild. Dude, I, you know what? Out of all the gamers in the... The MMO gamers, man, we've been beat. <laughs> we've been abused, dude. It's been rough. It's been rough. Yeah. We've been lied to. We've been scammed. Right, we got Summoner, Sam, so we can do... Uh... You really right. do? When you're when you're dealing with like the community, like in comments and, st and forums and stuff like that, you have to treat the MMO hardcore people like you would treat an abused patient. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you really do. Like, they're that scarred, you know, by things that have happened or times they've been lied to or had their hopes real high for no reason. And it's really ridiculous, actually. we got to put a stop to this. Yeah. MMO Cop is trying hard, guys. He's out there fighting. He is. Right now. Even though the season's down, the Mumu Cop is still out there, fighting hard. Yep. Hmm. Okay, cool. We got everybody. I'm getting all, all right, nervous. Cool. Yeah, this is, a, this is getting a little too real for me. I know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. real deal. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous. I didn't... I didn't pre-plan for this. I don't have, like, sandwiches ready to go or nothing. You got, me neither. You got meat, cookies, you got cookies and meat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do still have some meat. Well, uh, we got a summoner, which I got on purpose to help you to off-heal for you, um, Steve, so you're not completely, like, dependent on you. Um, yeah, because I suck. Then, well, not that. You don't have a sub job yet. <laughs> no, I do, though. I'm not the best at being a healer. 
You did do good you for what you do got. Do you have any cookies left? I never even, yeah, I never even, I never even played as a healer before until this, really. You got the, you got macros, right, for your cures and cures yeah. and whatnot? Okay, that's all you need. As long as you got macros and cookies, you're good. Alright, where are we headed to? Let's head over to the crab. Let's go get some of that macaroni and cheese. Macaroni? <laughs> That's a good name for a MMO macaroni brand. <laughs> well, it would be funny to MMO live in, macaroni. in the kind of world where that, where some company would be like, oh, I got a good idea for a product. Macaroni. <laughs> Imagine in today's world, though, if you worked at a, like some kind of place and you actually scored like a, a, uh, a meeting where to pitch an idea and you... <laughs> said something like that they'd be like dude what the hell are you talking about? they don't even know what you were meant like, dude, who do you think eats macaroni all the time guys in come on <laughs> stay with me <laughs> <laughs> they're in college they're playing mmos come on macaroni we'll make it super easy to make like a macro we'll even sell its own macro wave yeah Instructions are like forward slash heat, forward slash heat. Yes! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can use your you can you can actually just go ahead and put all your macro roni into the macro wave. And yeah. from your computer or your cell phone you can say, heat one up for me, and it will drop down one serving, cook it, and then it will alert you in your game, like your macaroni your macro roni is ready. Oh nice. Which game was it that better, you could better. order like Pizza Hut from in the game? Or Wasn't it? It was uh, EverQuest 2. Yeah. EverQuest okay, 2, man. That's what it was. Slash Pizza, baby. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Pantheon's got to do it, man. They got to. There's no choice. They have to do it. All right, are we pulling just the thing stuff here? Um, or is that we're waiting on Yikers. Um, oh, yeah. We're, people... we're, we're, you're pulling crabs. It's crab. There's enough for three people here. Gra um, let me see who we can pull. I guess I could pull a uh, party. Member list. Oh, we need to we need to level sync. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting for. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, no, yeah, it's twelve. Um, that's okay. We'll live with it. Well, so is uh, well, Horus Meld just got. Uh, I think thirteen. Just got 13. Yeah, thirteen's negligible, but. All right. Let's see what we can do. Watch out, a leech. Should we kill it? It's incredibly so, tough. Who, who's um. Who is tanking? Either you or Nostalgic. Nostalgic would be better. Okay. Because he's got a sub job. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a warrior ninja. He can. All right, I can, I can. Uh, SC How? With, uh, I'm. I, I haven't played Final Fantasy XI in a long time. I've been playing P99. I mean, are, is these other groups gonna get pissed that we just moved in and started pulling crabs? Um, no. There's enough room for it. It's not like. There's, okay. There's, you usually get three three groups. Oh, how many people are here? This is one. That's one. No, we're group. the fourth group. Are we the fourth group? Yeah, because there's one over there on the far side, and then two. Uh, I thought there was two. No, was you're two. right. No, you're okay. right. You're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. Okay. Cool. All right, and we pull that snipper. Or we need to wait for everybody. Uh, we want to wait for Yikes to get here, and then I'll sink us. Then we. Okay. But then, uh, then Steve can buff us. Okay, I'm gonna be so buff. Just, just, just to give you guys a heads up, I got, I got like an hour and a half in me, right now. Okay. At this okay. point. Just wanted to give a little advance warning. Yep. Yeah, Look, that pizza button was epic. Dude, that damselfly over there is in distress. We should try to save it. Well, it's too late. He's dead. Not the one I'm looking at. Oh, you're seeing another one. There's oh, there goes Barrelane to claim it for herself. Someone go try to ask her on a date. 
<laughs> the damsel in the fly? game. No, in the, the, game, the, the character. Gino. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> a, a date in Gino. Yeah. I wonder if it would work. Probably not. <laughs> One day, one day when we're decent level, let's just hang out in Juno for a whole stream and do that. Try to try to get dates in the game, try then we'll go on like little cheesy game. dates. If they'll look yeah. funny. Yeah. That'd be hilarious, dude. <laughs> we'll go check out the spell store. Don't forget food and rings. Food for and rings. Yeah. I'm gonna lay off mine. Catches up to me. The, uh, I've got food, but I already ate that. But I'll lay up on my XP ring until he catches up with me. This will be good XP, though, once we get rolling there. Yeah. Where's Yogi? I swear I saw you. Oh, he's on the other side of the cave. Okay, there he oh, he's uh, here? Oh, okay, I was like, oh, where is he? Oh, my other ring. Okay. Food. We got Mick Renz. Alright, here's the only buff I got. Alright, we ready? Yep, I'm pulling crabs. Alright, let's do it. Oh my god, there's one running right up on us. Yeah, look at him. He's hungry for the meat. Oh my gosh, what the heck is happening? Oh my god. Is it on now? Me, it's on me. I pulled it off of you guys. Okay, it's back on you now. The boat's not up yet. He's on the ice. There we go. My boat's back. I'm pulling back. Okay, now he's on nostalgia. We might have to go fight this. Beat up. A little too much, you think? I'm not provoked to get up. There it goes. Okay, it's on me. Oh my gosh. He's almost dead, but so am I. I got it. Oh, dude, you're almost dead, too. Hang on, I've got a special ability here. Okay. Nostalgic just got it. Oh, jeez. Oh! I tried to serious. kill him. Oh, my oh, gosh. Okay. Right. Yeah, I was out of MP. Right as he dropped. So what do you think we should go kill, Tetsu? Head over to the northwest busy spot. Uh, right in the cor top northwest that, corner of the Where those map. trees are? Uh, on the map? Yeah, I assume so, yeah. Northwest, right? Yeah. Dude, literally he was dying as he killed him. That was dumb. I thought I could kill him with my my, my uh skill with my weapon skill. 
but he only had 1% left. So I was like, darn. <laughs> I just now noticed that Rogzor said, why didn't you heal him with thine magics? <laughs> 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 All right, let's, let's move up in that corner. <laughs> Somebody from out of the party said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we haven't gotten any of the stuff yet. We're so weak. Is everybody with me? No. Yeah, I'm ahead of you guys, so. Alright, well nobody ran with me, hang on. There's yikes. I just ran up to the uh, directions of northwest a bit, to, like running towards the. Uh, yeah, I was fi I was finishing up healing. Okay, I see everybody now. This game's like reminds me of going to an all-you-can-eat buffet. What's that? Why? You know, just because it, it lets you take all, all this in. <laughs> they say because you're always eating. <laughs> That's true. You do have to eat a lot, That's I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's a brutal sheep. Watch out. I'm not going to fight him. He's too brutal. Brutal. It's too much. not ornery. I remember when I saw that when I was a kid, I was like, what does that mean? And then I had to look it up. Oh, oh what, what meant? Ornery? Like an angry sheep? Like an ornery Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Thought like, I was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. It's kink kinky. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> you never know with Japanese games sometimes. <laughs> now, that is true. When I saw the ornery sheep, I unequipped my subligar and put on pants. I was like, oh no. It's dangerous. I, I, that one scene in Final Fantasy IV. That was a little... That was a little much, maybe. Was that four? Or am which, I getting which, confused? What five. The, pi the pirate that you meet that turns out to be a female? The leader of the pirates? Oh, I think that actually is in Final Fantasy V. Is it five? Okay, that's what I was thinking of when they. It is five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. And they they go in her room and she's sleeping, and that's yeah. when they realize. And the way they played that scene out. <laughs> uh, let's just say if they did a remake, they might have to change it. Yeah. <laughs> I never played anything before seven. That was my first one. Oh, you never went back and played even six? Mm -mm. Dude, six Dude. and four are must plays in my opinion. Dude, you have you have a treasure just waiting for you. In six, just waiting for you to try it. It is so oh, good. Mm. It's funny you say that. I almost bought uh, one of those retro, retroids like those little yeah, like emulators. It's on I've been on Amazon today, and I'm yep. like, oh, I should buy that and play six. I've been considering one of those like ten thousand games in one pocket kind of consoles, you know, from China. Oh, over here, right? Uh, illegal as crap, but because they're uh, made in China, you can do it. What right, kind of games on it? Like, you know, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, Nintendo yeah. 64, uh, Dreamcast, uh, all the retro um, consoles are usually on there. And there's a bunch of them, and some of them are garbage, but it's easy to find out. You know, people do reviews of all of them, so you can find... There's a couple of them that are really really actually impressive um and run well and are built well yeah and they're cheap you know it's like 150 bucks and you have 10,000 games on the go sorry i have to rebuff steve I, I i think the wrong person so it's gonna gonna cut them off is it time for the buff yet not yet well i gotta unstink and then Now it is buff time. Okay. Alright, so let's get on. 
All right, we're gonna hang. This is the camp spot where we're at. This is the spot. Hang out, hang okay. out in that little corner. Yep. I see uh, a bunch of wild pelicans off in the distance. But those we can't fight, I don't think. Dude, that's a level 75, I think. Must be something they added into the game. I don't remember those. <laughs> you got one. I love the vibrate function, by the way. You do an alert. Stay in the little cubby hole. Yeah, just stay in the cubby. I'll bring it over. I can do the first provoke, and that way Nostalgia can provoke it off of me. Because um, I still need to get a little bit of skill up so I'm getting beat up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be awful when I have to maintain later on. We beat him. He's a dead lizard. One dead lizard. One dead how much, how lizard. How much XP did you get, Steve? 84. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty. Huh? It's okay. It's okay. It's pretty good. It's not the best ever, but it's safe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and chain them quickly, so uh, that way they re it'll yeah. Be lower. Start... I, I want it kind of easier, but quickly is sometimes yeah. Better. And with the chain X speed, it'll start getting crazy. You know. I see him out there fighting lizards. He's luring one back this way. Watch out, guys! He's coming right into the camp. Yeah, fight him like right out, like the, the primo spot is like right here. Face him out away from everybody because he does like a poison breath or whatever. Oh, does he? So, like, okay. So come over okay. like, yeah, where I was. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Is it a cone or is it? Uh, yeah, it's a cone. So like, yeah, just face straight out. Yeah, I'm going to face the way you brought him. Oh, man. We're healing him up real nice and good. Watch out for that cold-hearted killer running by. <laughs> I'm wearing a Santa Claus. That's... Yeah. Look at me out. Cold-hearted killer. Uh-oh. Going for the healer. Provoking. Meat Lizards, the movie. All I wanted was a little bit of Meat Lizard. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're singing with corn. Oh, man. Those hill lizards are beautiful. Here are the bunch now, so you, know. you should be able to tame them and, and use them as mounts. I think you can on, on live. Oh, there's, I'm gonna grab one, I'm gonna zone the other. Okay, the one that's closest, I'm provoking. One of them is made out of onions. Bring them right uh, back. Yeah. Oh, the goblins and the uh, goblins. That big bear. Nice stuff. Yeah, 
he's not gonna kill you. It's like... Yeah, probably. Because there's, there's a bunch of goblins in the next one. It's all bad. So, you guys do your thing. I'll be back. You gonna sound him? Yeah, I'm gonna build him. Because another one aggro would be the wooden goblin and the <laughs> He's about to drop. Got him dead? Yeah, he's dead. Are you gonna make it? Maybe. I'm, I'm coming back around. I thought I had a second one aggro, but I don't. Uh, but they are punching. Oh, it, it is hitting me hard. Good God. I don't know. Just keep going without me. It's fine. Don't worry. Just You're to the it. south. Yeah. I'm gonna run and see if I can't get to you in time. Yeah, if you can vote them off and you're right on time, that would be epic. Somewhere over here. Oh, yeah, I'm get... back out. Like if we went backwards, like where, where we south, came from, right? it'd be like east, east. All right there. Uh... Oh, I see you. I see you. All right. You grab him. Provoke him. Provoke him. Provoke him. Boom. All right. Oh, you had Perfect. two. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll they keep were running. stacked. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this... I was like, you got oh, a hill on you. You got a hill on you. They were stacked yeah, go perfectly. Go fight that one. Go ahead and fight that one. Like, I'm pulling them back. Down. Yeah. Run, dude. <laughs> gonna run my face. I thought it was like one. I'm like, awesome, dude. It's only one. Spin around. I don't know, dude. Dude, there's so there's ghouls and goblins everywhere at night. It's this murder after the night. Dude, that sounds scary. It's it's a, hard this one. is a yes. dangerous place. Hoodia! 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 Our smell's almost dead if I'm doing mighty strikes. Yeah, you're almost dead. Live, live. Gonna provoke it. So I've got full hit points. So you've made it, Tetsu, or did you die? No, I died. <laughs> the other lizard was there, and then a goblin uh, was coming after me, and a ghoul, and that was. That was... Ghouls and goblins got me. I'm scared of them skeletons. Ghosts and goblins, that was a hard game always. Oh yeah, it was. That really is a hard game, though. Dude, I never was good at that game, I'm gonna be honest. Me I'm neither, dude. Angry. I never got good at I it. Always, I always would play it for a little while and be like, yeah, I can't. This is brutal. It was the original Dark Souls. It really was. Ghosts and goblins was insane. You know why it was so hard? Why? Because it was an arcade game first. Yeah. And so they did you not had, you, soften you, it yeah, up. Yeah, they want the quarters. Yeah. Well, and like even... that, that same argument is used for MMOs of subscriptions, right? Like making things yeah. unnecessarily hard for all it comes down to is money. Um, which I guess is still in practice now. Right? Back then it was quarters, then it was subscriptions. Now it's microtransactions. They make it yeah. so hard that you have to... Uh, you know, like, pay whatever, five bucks for a jewel. I've always said that. Like, everybody thinks pay-to-win is a modern um, issue or thing. Like, no, dude, arcades were totally pay-to-win. Yeah. They would make it to where you... I remember there'd be boss fights in games, like Die Hard Arcade, like all of them, where you have to take that hit. You know what I mean? Like, you, there's no avoiding it. And so... You stack that up a few times, and there's a minimum it costs to beat the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like people might think if they weren't around for the arcade scene, where it's like, no, if you're really... There was ones like that, right? Where if you were just good, you really could play for... Right. You know, 
quarter or 50 cents, but the majority of arcade games are built with the minimum price. Like, at minimum, it's going to cost you four bucks to beat it, even if you are really good because of the mandatory damage you have to take. Yeah. Which they would, they would do it smartly to where you had to really think about it to realize, like, oh, even if I didn't get hit, I would die by this point no matter what, you know? I'm out of the party for some reason. Uh, did the party disband? What happened? Oh, yeah, it did for some reason. Oh, what did happen? That just happened. Uh, oh, that's oh, strange. That, one, I guess. that was weird. Let me tell everybody. After you died, the party just disbanded. I was the life of the party. Oh no, now yeah. we're just like, we're sure. done. We're done here. Um, I accepted, but, but it doesn't say I'm in a party. Might the server's really gone haywire. Too. Maybe I need to leave the party first? No? I'm not even in the party. I'm Did not I either. If you search yeah. for me, can you find my name? If you do like C and then my name. Is that how it works in this game? S -E -E? Yeah, four slash S E A for search, space my name. Space my name, space my name. No, it's saying because it, yeah, it's showing you and it's saying uh, that you just sent me another invite. But then if I go to party, I'm gonna I'm gonna just relog. That was, that's weird. Sometimes if you're ghosted, then you can uh, can invite or whatever. It's weird. Yeah, that's weird. This it's telling me that you're inviting me, but I can't join it. Weird. All right, I'm back in now. Let's try this again. Do, 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 do. All right. I just need to invite. There we go. It worked that time. Noise. Okay. Do you remember the names? You want me to tell them to? Oh, you're here. Uh, yeah, I'm right here. Taco Bell Queen. Taco Bell Queen. Taco Bell Queen. Come back to Tear me. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one more time. Do, 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 do. All right, go ahead. Buff this up. You, you actually you can provoke before you, you go into attack mode. So you yeah. Can grab them, so you can I brought us up to 14. I'm like, we're not dying again. Enough of that. <laughs> Are we yeah. synced? Yeah, to 14 this time instead of like. Oh, okay. Team. That that way, that'd be way easier on your mana too.
love that that guy earlier he was like, why don't you stop healing with thy magic? There's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. just <laughs> some other guy in the group nearby. Level 50 actually? No, no, I hit for 50. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, provoke it down. Tabitha Cure's worth! Everybody always comes back at the same time. Next one since he's about yeah. to die. I've got mine ready. Wait for uh... Yeah, let, let get a little mana back. Give him a little juice back in the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> we almost won that time. Almost beat the game. We killed that sword. Almost beat the game. <laughs> the credits almost rolled. I actually saw something in a forum the other day. Be okay, I find the MMO I was playing. So, can anybody suggest another one? I'm just wondering. Like, I wonder what it's playing. They've decided they beat it. Yeah. Like, I wonder. Wonder how they defined that. Did they just mean they did all the story? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Did they get to max level. Everybody's eating at Taco John's, oh, on a Tuesday. Oh, you couldn't see me if I was dancing. What's up, Andrew? Uh-oh, we're I'm being attacked. Good, man. We are I'm, straight I'm being a, attacked. I'm in a bit of a crisis mode currently. Um, maybe chat and uh, Tetsu and Steve can help me out here. Um, so here's the deal. I am making my su supplemental income uh, to survive off of views on videos, okay? So, for example, I made enough money supplemental uh, to survive off of, off of my Harry Potter guides, okay? Guides are great videos to make that are going to get views, okay? And advertisers love guides because they're not controversial, you know what I mean? They're great. Yeah. You get paid higher per thousand views. But I'm stuck because I don't want to just milk Harry Potter. I've made the guides I wanted to make. Those are the parts of the games I of the game I think people might get stuck at. I'm not just gonna keep milking it and be like, oh guys, here's how you freaking do this stupid thing that probably nobody cares about. You know, like I'm not gonna do that. so I'm I feel like I'm done. Like I can't I can't think of anything else people really need a guide for. But I need to find another game, right? And we do have the new RPG coming out. Okay, you ready? Let's do it on this one, Tessie. Oh, I, I already did it with, uh, with the stuff oh, okay. earlier. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be back soon. soon. Okay, I'll wait for you. I'll just build mine up further. Um, uh, what's it called? What's the game coming out? Octopath um, Traveler yeah. Part 2. Oct Octopath Traveler 2. But here's the deal. Is that game really going to need a guide? For us I don't know, man. I mean, I bet you there's going to be people that still are looking up gods for it. It just seems like it kind of self-explains itself. But you know, it would like, probably be like advanced guys. Like, if people need guys, it's going to be something, you know, somewhat hard. Yeah, I just don't know. Dude, I know what we can do. Let's have a guide off. 
A guide off. Yeah, because I'm I'm buying that game at launch. Are you gonna do a guide? You wanna do guides too? We like bounce off each other. I'm just, I'm gonna do fake guides. Hey, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Like everybody in the community will be in on it. We should we should have a fake uh Gra grab beef. one. Grab one. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> we should yeah, have I'm, fake I'm beef. Gonna those, I'm gonna take it over around. over over making the guides for Octopath Traveler 2. <laughs> It's like, dude, I was making the guides first. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, I could be like, I'll be like, I saw when you did uh, uh, retro game night. I wasn't gonna say nothing, but now <laughs> <laughs> that was totally obviously inspired by Steve's retro night. I, but I was like, I can't do a JRP. That's like literally gonna beat him. I'll just do like. I don't care games, if you do. Like. <laughs> if you, Dude, I almost, I love your setup. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was setting one up too with like a retro tee. I was like, okay, that's taking too far. That might be actually offensive. I'll just not do that part. Oh no, I wouldn't care. It's so good. It's so good. It's such a good idea. New guide where you, you say something. All right, now take a left here and now do this. And now tune into Steve's guide for the next part. That would be guide. hilarious. Now, I'm gonna make follow ups. I'm gonna react to his guy and be like, oh my gosh, guys, did you hear that? that would he be he funny. didn't tell you to go left. He just assumes that you're watching. In my guides, I assume that maybe it's, you know, you can't look at your phone because you're looking at your screen to play the game. And I'll be you like, know, oh my god, you. listen to him. He's treating you guys like you're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a lot of fun. That would be funny. <laughs> it'd be hilarious for somebody to just. Gets wrapped up in it, you know, like YouTube There's some random the reaction. Person. <laughs> They're like, "Oh my gosh, these guys are calm down, ain't that sick?" <laughs> Look, he's always stealing my ideas. <laughs> we should purposefully steal each other's ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do purpose, a couple, just, yeah. just, just, just so we can have beef about it. <laughs> that would be hilarious, the dude. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, you guys good? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll be right, right back right on time. Well, everyone. well, Steve's still gaining a little bit of mana. He's yeah, that, that works out perfectly. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> the response was like, no, he's wrong. This is the right way to attack in combat. <laughs> oh, well, it'd, be the, it'd be those kind of videos you've been making, Steve, and I'm arguing with them. Be the hilarious. <laughs> Dude, I love those. Double the views. <laughs> they have to keep going back and forth between the two. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a guide that's called How to Octopath Travel in Octopath Traveler 2. <laughs> you should. That's perfect. Just it'll just be how to move. Yeah. Or or have some type of simultaneous stream uh, or video where like play both these videos at the same time and then one stops talking, the other one stops talking, and then goes back and forth so they have to have <laughs> both going at one time. Yeah, yeah, we could do like we could do we could after the beat gets going, right? Then we could do videos where it's a collab, but we're just arguing the whole time. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it's a collab guide, but we're just arguing about Dude, it. Dude, that would like... be funny to do. How often do you see collab guides anyway? <laughs> Dude, it would be funny to do that, and because <laughs> it would be funny, but it'd be funny if we all, if they, if somebody watched it, they also would still be able to figure out what they were trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, it should still help them, but also we're arguing the whole time. Like, oh my gosh, shut up! Just tell me the next thing. I'm like, yeah, I know that's what you're supposed to do, but I mean, I'm just gonna say, for the sake of the guide, the way how he's got the camera angle right now, nobody's gonna be able to tell what to do. <laughs> Dude, some people will be like, why does he keep collabing with this guy? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I have to use my, my cure magics. I'm gonna heal you with thine magics. 
If we did do that, what's funny is there'd be people who, tons of people who didn't get it eventually, who'd be saying, like, picking sides. Yeah. There'd be really even be people who would normally follow either of our channels being like, what the heck happened? <laughs> yeah, they'll jump on a random stream, like, are you guys good? Is it all right? <laughs> be hilarious. Like, yeah, we're good. We just have artistic disagreements on guy making. <laughs> I'll randomly come into your live streams and be like, this stream's pretty good. If only you could put this kind of work into your guides. <laughs> and then just leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've noticed that too, Life of Ryan, that there's commenters on Steve's videos that don't know if he's serious or not. Yeah. Dude, I love that, actually. That's my favorite part. This guy said... This guy said on one of those Harry Potter ones, he was like, uh, is this supposed to be comedy? Yeah, and, I saw that. Oh, I, I was that. like, this is a guide on how to do this in Harry Potter. <laughs> Am I a joke to you? <laughs> I like how, the, I think it might have been the first one where you were talking about at the beginning, you're like, I see a lot of people making very complicated guides. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to... <laughs> Break it down back more to basics. <laughs> so today's video, I'll be teaching you how to jump. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ultimate Protect spell. Terramara. That's my favorite spaghetti. Sounds like a Taro Taro's name. How they have like the Melinda Yulindi names. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Terramara. Popcorn chickens. <laughs> Life of Ryan, what is up? Oh, we got uh, corn dogs in the haystack over here. That's code for a hill lizard, by the way. Oh, like what? Is that? It's code for a hill. That's classic Final it's Fantasy eleven lingo. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're gonna put ketchup on the hot dog, that means you're gonna kill chain. Yeah, yeah. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it Nathan. I'll, uh, All right. I'm going now. Don't worry, dude. I'm gonna keep shooting you with the relish. Sweet, appreciate it. The relish really, really adds a lot. To it. Keeps me alive. And the overall experience of the dog. We did it! Congratulations to ourselves. Once again, legendary men return. Dude, that hill is or don't want no part of it. 
There yeah, he I don't comes. think he's actually a hill lizard. I think he's actually a desert lizard. Oh, we got two. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Book one, I'll run around. Go ahead. I got that one. Try to kill it quickly. I'll let you know when he's low so you can run him back. I gotta use my healing magics. Uh oh. Okay, he's at half. You gonna be alright? That's insane. Looking yeah, good. Yeah, this guy's gonna help me out. This guy help me out. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, he's at 25% now. Yeah, I've gone, I've slacked on my, my pulling today, because I have a bar, I usually pull on my bard, and so I have a sleep function. So if the second one pulls, I'm like, no big deal, I'll just sleep it, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Back to base. Final Fantasy 11 all up in your lips tonight. La 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 la. Those are just the lyrics that comes to my head with this song that just keeps playing over and over here. Oh, I've got the music <laughs> off. I I had an. That, I had that's why. That's why I keep singing when we're in the dunes because that music is just going over <laughs> okay. and over and over. Makes sense. It's just somebody playing like four chords on an acoustic guitar over and over. Steve, yeah. Don't forget to get your MP back. We're waiting on. Aw, oh, dude. I don't even need MP anymore. I'm so, I'm so good. <laughs> MP is for, for new players. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in my guide. <laughs> Just give awful advice in your guide. That's what you <laughs> That'd be advice. funny. You'd like the worst advice. Like, dude, don't worry about it. People in your party will always complain and if you're a healer about you need to rest your MP. Dude, that's for noobs. <laughs> Always use physical attacks on all flaunts. <laughs> yeah. Just Do take off all your weapon. armor and just stand right in front of every enemy. And melee attack. <laughs> when you see a cleave, stand right in front of it. M make sure you move the whole party to in front of the enemy for a cleave. That's the mechanic you want to do. <laughs> Welcome to the all you can eat fish fry. Are right, you ready for another combo? Mm, I will be in a second. I got I'm at five three yeah, right now. Oh, that's another good one there. Always take as much loot as you can and raid before anyone else can. Yes. And the reason why is because for some reason it's you you're probably not gonna get invited back again, so you gotta get the most out of it so you can. For some reason people don't tend to invite you back to raids anymore. Right, I'm ready when you are. Alright, here I go. Boom! Right. We made it. <coughs> Always block with your face, absolutely. You gotta watch out for a peppy flute skin. Alright, let's see here. I'm getting my MP to come back to me now. And it sure was nice. It was a nice one. Uh-oh. Watch out for Diabetic Jim. <laughs> can't have cookies or he can't have cookies at all. <laughs> yeah, not good. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do now. <laughs> That'd be funny in the game. Somebody was like... 
Hey, you're not eating your cookie. You're MP. So like, I can't. I'm role playing a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that at some point to somebody. <laughs> no, we can play watch eating. Until my healer learns that insulin spell. There's not yeah, much I can do about yeah. it. That's what I'm always saying. But people don't want to hear that. They don't care. <laughs> Maybe they'd think twice if they, was a, if they were the ones that was diabetic in-game. game <laughs> No consideration. We should do like a, a an awareness raising advertisement about it. <laughs> about, ro about diabetic role player. Yeah. You know, you sadly, dude, I bet even in today's world, sadly, I bet that would offend people really bad. Yeah, it probably would. Even though it's, it's obviously a joke. Oh, what do I have on me? I can't move or do nothing. Paralyzed? Is he like the skull? Like yellow oh, skull? Oh, the skull. That, okay, that, that lizard out. took a chew out of you. Can't move still. Should have a timer on it. Yeah, it just broke. It would freak me out because it was showed a skull. I was afraid it was a death spell. Oh you know, yeah. Final Fantasy's head will count down and then you like, die. Oh, yeah, was, yeah. I thought it was Doom. Yeah. That would suck. I was like, oh no! I didn't know they could do that. These lizards are a different breed, man. Do berserk now. Dude, I can't wait to play Charleston Chews online. <laughs> How's that gonna work? It's, you know, like, everybody gets to be a piece of candy. <laughs> okay. Inside of a wrapper, and then when the wrapper gets opened, you get to explore the world. Are the classes kind of, like, different? Like, you got, like, fruit-based candies, you got, like, jellies. Yeah. Like Gel-based candies. But to see, they have to figure out a way to balance it out because everyone's going to try to play as a Charleston Chew, obviously. Yeah, because a game. Well, I don't know. It's not necessarily true because you have, like, Dark Age of Camelot, but still tons of people play Hibernia and Midgard. I mean, that's true. I, we might need to be redo some stuff in that case. <laughs> I'll dual wield. I'll be, a, I'll be Twix so I can dual wield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Twix! No, I'm, I'm sorry to Go tell you this. Be. Yeah, Twix. Actually, we didn't put that in the game. <laughs> it's uh, it, it think more along the lines of like Tootsie Rolls might be another one that you could <laughs> do. We don't have the funding for stuff like Twix. That's too advanced. Yeah, that's a lot to get the candy, license. Old timey candies or whatever. <laughs> yeah. What about what about good old uh, Werther's? What's cool about Werther's original when you pick that as a starting class, you actually start out in an old man's pocket. <laughs> Don't forget your uh, MP there, Steve. But after oh, you yeah. get done with the tutorial, after you get done with the tutorial, you're a young child who grows up with that, right? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, you can also start in an old woman's purse if you pick the strawberry candy. <laughs> so there's two purse starting candies, which is pretty cool. Or pocket and purse. Are you, are you talking about that one candy that looks like a strawberry with like a green top that you gotta oh, untwist? Yeah, I remember is that, that is that the branded candy? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just the strawberry candy. Yeah, yeah, and they're not good. <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not horrible though. But dude, wait till you hear I about mean, some of the mobs, dude. We haven't even talked about the mobs. Like, dude, oh, one snap. of the one of the early mobs you'll fight is candy corn, and and circus peanuts. Oh, circus so peanuts. <laughs> the worst. In candy corn. Oh. Yeah, Charleston Shoe Online. It's going to be awesome, dude. Looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, boy. Is that weird chocolate that, that they still make that... They made fun of it in the office. It's like a white chocolate pretzel thing or whatever. I don't know what it's called. You know what I'm talking about? White chocolate pretzel thing. You talking about the one with yogurt? No, the no, yogurt not pretzel. That. Okay. Um. I can't remember. Is it's it a candy bar? bar? Are you? It's not a candy bar. It's like oh. a. It's um, something bark. 
I don't know. I can't, I can't think of it. Dark's root beer. I've got two super lizards right in front my, of us. My my wife thought that root beer had it was a G her whole life. A she G? Argued with me. Like, yeah, she thought it was called Bargs. Oh, root Bargs beer. root beer. Oh, Bargs <laughs> root beer, boys. <laughs> She kept saying it. I was like, you didn't know that's a Q, right? It's barks. Yeah, like, she was like, no, Qs always have a U after. I'm like, okay, not when you not when you name it yourself and it's a brand. And what about barbecue? When it's just huh? spelled as BBQ. When it's BBQ. <laughs> right. It'd be funny if you still had to put a U there. A lowercase one. It's just randomly there. <laughs> There's a Welcome and then I'll, in the skill chain I'm ready to. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna do mine. Let's go. Oh yeah, let me become a healer. Let me switch back to the healer class. Sparks with bite. Dude, I like root beer, man. I'm a fan. I always associate root beer and cream soda like they're one and the same for me. I don't know why. Oh. Dude, See, to I me, don't. they're way different. But I love yeah, cream I, soda, they're, man. They're I love it. I don't know why I think of one, I think of the they other. They do kind of go mind. together. You know why? Because yeah, A&W but... got you guys like that. Oh, uh, it was. It was. But I would if I was if I had a department store, I would put them together. You know? They'd be, in, they'd be together. Yeah, they usually are. I'm a fan of that cream soda, though. My wife's favorite carbonated drink is uh, it's going under. What is it? It's that one we always make fun of called Big Red. It's, it's going away? It's going away, man. Everybody stopped not carrying it and just not making it. It's It was a bad name because everybody thought of the gum. Like, I assume it's yeah. Like no, it's a cream yeah, soda. That's, yeah, that's what, what everybody thinks, and that's what? why they're going out of business. Yeah, it's, it's a, a red cream soda, cream flavor. soda. Yeah, that's it's a red cream name. soda. It's a high quality one too. My wife. Let yeah, me dude. Like, oh, it, my mom used to drink it when she was a little kid. It's been oh, around. Is that old? Yeah, it's been around. Oh, I did calling like a cream soda winter fresh. Like, all right. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I agree. It was bad marketing. They should have changed the name. Because you, you expect it to be like cinnamon flavored or something. You Which know? I don't think I want that in a soda. No. And that's why they don't do good. Oh, well. Kind of like Rest in peace, Nintendo. Big Red. The, the Wii U. Yeah. The Wii U, yeah. yeah. But somehow Microsoft gets away with it, though. They're like, okay, first we got the Xbox, then we got the Xbox One, then we got the Xbox One. S and we got the Xbox One X and then the next generation the <laughs> Xbox One Series X. Like, I know, dude. Stop it. So That's bad. it's so absurd. Bad. So bad. It's you're not absurd. naming a graphics card, you morons. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they think. I'm starting to think. Now that you pointed that out, that sounds like what they're attempting to do. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I'll never get out. I'll never quit giving Microsoft crap for that. Uh oh. Y Yikes is going uh, AFK, it looks like. Uh oh. Dang. And for their stupid needing batteries in the controller, that's ridiculous. I know, like, Even come on, stuff. really? Yeah. That's the one for me where I'm like, every time, I'm like, seriously? Hey, now, I agree with you. What's the takeaway? Cinnamon in alcoholic drinks? Good. That's different, Carbonated though, drinks? Yeah. Eh, I don't think so. Although I do like cinnamon candy. Uh, what was the one when we were kids? Red Hots? Wasn't that what they were called? Yeah, that's a thing. Like I the like Red Hot those. Tamale things or whatever? Yeah, those are good, too. Yeah, the jelly ones are good. I was oh. thinking of the little dots. They were little dots. Oh, the spicy senoritas. Is that what they're called? <laughs> no. Cinnamaritas. <laughs> that's a good name, actually. Uh, <laughs> what were the fireballs? That was a thing. Oh, those oh, are good. Yeah. Hey, that drink, that's one of my favorite alcoholic drinks, the fireball. Oh, really? It tastes just like a fireball candy. Man, I'm not a fan, man. 
But no, I'm, I, 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 I can't. I kind of, kind of can't stand liquor anyway. Though. I don't know. Is it? Is it gold slugger? That's with the little gold flakes in it. I remember. Yeah. That. Oh, that. Is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that's drinking cinnamon, gold. That's cinnamon, right? That, that has cinnamon. Yeah, in it's it? a cinnamon drink. I remember. It is. I'm not drinking gold. That's ridiculous. I'm so rich. I drink gold. <laughs> I saw a YouTuber though who said like, "How much money is that? The value of those little flakes of gold." It's mm -hmm. worth one dollar currently. All the gold in one gold slugger. Because there's a stupid rumor that if you keep all the gold, you can go to a pawn shop or wherever and trade it in, and it's worth as much as the gold slugger. Like, obviously, that's not true, or they would go out of business, morons, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. They should, they, yeah. Someone just runs it through a strainer. Every time they buy a bottle, they run it through <laughs> a strainer. <laughs> that's kind of what it, There was a stupid rumor going around on. TikTok that you could do that. It's not true. Obviously. Red Hots, yes. Delicious. Oh yeah, Red Hots. I remember those. That's what I, that's what I was thinking of. Remember that candy called Mike and Ike? Yeah, I like those still. I still like What those. a weird name kinda though, right? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it was just two dudes who were like, hey. Let's, let's just name it our names. Candy. Yeah, Mike and Ike. I'm ready to go when you are. But I was like, I'm going to be the green one. Yeah. They got a big argument over it, and the company almost felt through they had to sell out. Yeah. And now Willy Mike Wonka. and Ike neither owns it. Yeah. Now it's owned by Willy Wonka. Now they, they ended up a couple lemon heads. <laughs> Living heads. I love their logo. It's one of the best logos you could possibly ever do. Dude, some of those old school candies were pretty good. Yeah. I like those ones. I don't even know what they're called, but they're like this weird little crunchy peanut butter candy. They kind of are reminiscent of the inside of a Butterfinger, but they're better. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say something real quick because we're talking about old candies, how they used to be so good. I also want to say cartoons used to be real good. Toys oh, yeah. used to be really Everything. cool. Uh, we really failed. Our generation failed. The Gen X, we failed the kids. And you, you want, So don't sit around and complain about how people ended up. You took away their good cartoons. You took away their good candy. You took away their good video games. You took away the Toy Stores. You shut down Toys R Us. Don't complain about how they turned out, okay? It's their dangerous playground. Yeah. Of you took it away from them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you took all the fun stuff, no more of the, the wheel of death that we used to swing around and almost die on, and all the cool stuff, you took it all away. I'm ready so, to get weapon skills. Dude, we made it to where the kids don't go outside at all. I know. <laughs> so, like, no wonder. No, you can't complain about nothing. Like, that's... It, I'm shocked they're even, you know... That they even care about life at all without having any of the cool stuff we had. I mean, know? honestly, some of them kind of don't seem like they do. That's probably why. Sadly. I'm not even shocked. No Ninja Turtles. No He Man. No, I know, everything dude. Their was education. Suck, dude. Yeah, it's all horrible, and it's all education. And it's not creative at all. Do you guys remember when we were kids and some educational we would turn it off? We would turn the TV off. Man, we'd be like, screw this. They didn't have a choice because they don't even have toys. There's not even any cool toys anymore. I learned that they were turtles in the sewers whenever I'd go by past man's animals. <laughs> I, I, I thought that for so long, that they were like making pizza in the sewers every time I saw one like smoke in the wintertime or like steam. Yeah. Oh my god, they were there. My buddy, uh, uh, that, uh, from the last job I had, he told me about, he lived in New York, and he told me about one of his classmates went down in the sewers looking for the Ninja Turtles and, like, was never found. <laughs> oh, my God. Dang. He was, he was a victim. That's crazy. What was, he turned into Casey. Casey, whatever his name is. <laughs> it turns out that guy is Casey Jones. Casey Jones. <laughs> Casey Jones. Yeah. I wish I would have thought of that. I would have told him, like, dude, your friend was Jones. Oh, my God. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. He turned out to be a hero. I bet he played hockey, didn't he? before he went down there. Oh, Casey Jones. Yeah, dude, and then, then they, they'll, they'll and then they'll try to remake cartoons from our childhood and then they make them suck. Yeah, make them awful. It's like, I'm Tell sorry, I, I will argue to my grave, every version of the Ninja Turtles that's come out since the original has been awful. Yeah. 
I will say, though, there's been a couple of gems. When they remade He-Man that one time, I don't know. They Oh, yeah, the that was actually one. good. Oh, you're talking about the first He-Man remake. I remember it. Yeah, Th that was, was actually good. cool, man. That was better than the original. But back sure, then, we, it, we already started down the bad trail when that happened because that because they were like, hey, it doesn't look like Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. So it's canceled. So it's canceled. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that Thundercats yeah. re-envisioning was awesome, but it only went for one season, I think. Yeah. And then they get to finish the story. It was so cool, man. But no, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's to a point now where when you hear they're remaking something you like, you're like, oh, no. Oh, no. I know, dude. You don't even, you don't even get excited about it. Now you're like, you're like oh, you're going in an impending sense of doom. I can't wait for the remake of Goonies. That's coming. Is that real? I, I just made it up, but it's real. I don't know if that's necessary. <laughs> They'll do it, dude. They'll run. Eventually they will. Oh my gosh, dude! This thing is taking a beat, beating the crap out of you, man. I know, it's hard work. I'm do burning blade. Oh, it's the top here. Come on. All right, we're gonna take a break after that. Beat down. Just like Cheeseburger Jim used to say. Mighty Max. My Mighty sounds cartoon. familiar. Mighty, Mighty Max, yeah. wasn't he, he a duck? Uh... Was he a duck? No, he yeah. was a mouse. <gasps> oh, Mighty Max, I forgot about him. Oh, no, wait, Max maybe was it wasn't. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about Mighty no, Mouse. That was, that was Mighty Max. I'm thinking yeah, about Mighty on, Mouse. Mouse. Wasn't Mighty Max the one with the toys? It was kind of like pocket something? Like it was little pocket toys? Am I wrong? Look oh, yeah. Oh, they... yeah, yeah, yeah. Mighty, they were like a po Polly Pocket, but for boys. Polly Pocket, thank you. I couldn't think of what it was called. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, Mighty it is. Max? It I is. I remember it now. Yeah, I googled it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mighty Max is really old. I'm seeing some pictures of it. 90, 1993. Oh, never mind. It's not that old. Okay, yeah, 93. I remember those. I don't remember this cartoon though. I, I don't yeah, know. I remember the cartoon. They made the cartoon to sell the toys. What was it on? Well, like, what channel was it on? It was just like one of those random cartoons that would come on on Saturday it really morning. Was. It really was to sell the toys. It was the Polly Pocket line. Almost every, almost every cartoon actually from our childhood was made to sell a toy line. That's fine though. They acted yeah. like that was so bad. I know. I'm no, cool with not. that. If they make good cartoons, you know and what I mean. And the toys were cool. And the toys were cool. Well, I mean, think it's about not it, like dude. They were stupid. They had to it be wasn't a scam. It wasn't like now. They had to be like, oh, we have to actually make a really cool cartoon or else the so toys will buy the nobody toys. will want the toys yeah now they don't even do like that. there's not they an incentive just... like that now anymore and they're just lazy yeah. about everything yeah i loved collecting like teenage mutant ninja Turtles. you go to your friend's house and they'd have a new one and you'd be like i haven't seen the episode with this guy i don't even know who this guy is they're like oh yeah dude the alligator guy from Louisiana, you know yeah. or whatever you know it was so cool man dude they they it uh made you, it made it went both ways you would see a toy and you want to watch the show. You watch a show and want to play with the toy. It, it worked. It was good. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And, like, the I, I know there was, like, a bunch of, like, Congress meeting about it. And all, like, golly. As, geez, what in the world? Dude, now the kids' cartoons are just lame, dude. There's, like, no creativity. It's all yeah, looks it's like so crap. Stupid. Yeah. And just no plot. I don't know I why I hit that, that lizard. I got to get off that thing. I have to say that one show. Oh, I'm about to die. Yeah, that was a good one. No matter what age you are, everyone loves it. The Nicktoons were the final bastion for cartoons. Yeah. And, and I'll say this, and I hate to say it because I liked it at the time Cartoon Network killed cartoons. I mean, they had yeah. Like Dexter's Lab, yeah, I'm not saying they didn't have some decent ones. I'm just saying, like, having cartoons available all the time 
and then trying to like make that's what started to make the cartoons quick because we got to fill up an entire day and night worth of cartoons so make them quick so then they started devising ways to make cartoons faster and less higher quality and that, i'm telling you that was that was what ended it It was a good idea. It was intentional. It's kind of like World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft didn't mean to ruin MMOs. That's just what happened, you know? Yeah. They it didn't like... It's not like Blizzard was like, let's make an MMO and ruin them, you know? They were making a... They were doing exactly what people were asking for at the time, and they made a game that did those things. And inadvertently, it ruined MMOs. <laughs> I feel like Cartoon Network did the same thing. Yeah. Tsunami was great. Tsunami brought, like, anime to, like, a lot of people. American audiences, you yeah. Remember, you remember that with Tom or whatever? The mm -hmm. robot? Mm-hmm. I love that. What was that really weird one? Where, um... Man, it was so weird. I, it was... Guitar came out of her head? Yes, yes! Fully what was cooly. that one? Fully cooly. Fully cooly. Fully cooly. That was a cool, good one. And that was the animators that went on to make Gurren Lagann? Uh, right. I don't I don't think so, sure. actually. I don't know. I know, I know Gurren Lagann and Kill a Kill the same person. So yeah, it's yeah. Dirty O Trigger. Yeah. They and went they, on they, did they, something they, else, though. Fully Cooly went on to do something else cool, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then they did I'm another sure Fully Cooly randomly. Separate. Get away from each other. Starcraft MMO would be interesting. I'm surprised that never happened, to be honest, man. Me too. I, I actually thought that was 100% going to happen. Oh, that kind of was what they were making that when turned, they changed it over. That, that was going to be an MMO? Into, yeah. yeah, it was. It was called Project Titan at first. Yeah, ti Project Titan, not Titanfall. They didn't, that turned into Overwatch. Yeah, they didn't think it was good enough, so they... Then they changed they it to the assets Project Titan Pants. <laughs> That's every MMO, I think. Especially in Overwatch. <laughs> Is it real bad in that one? Yeah, know. dude, all them chicks are like wearing the most super tightest pants ever. Huh. And I never even played it, and I know that. I'm ready that's when you are. For... Maybe that's why my son likes it so much. He plays that game a lot. He's like, oh <laughs> yeah, look at that jigglage. <laughs> he is at that age. We're like, son, are you okay? And he's like, oh, I'm just a jiggling and a jangling in here, boys, playing some Overwatch. I do gotta say that I, I know everybody this. There was a point in time not too long ago where the jiggle physics were starting to get a little bit out of hand. And yeah. Uh, gra that. Grab one. I grab the next. They were like making graphics cards specifically for jiggle physics for a little while. <laughs> <It's> so absurd. <laughs> Let me know when it's uh when it's like almost dead. Dude, I actually okay. I, I like buy old box sets of old cartoons and watch them with my kid. Okay, it's at halfway. Halfway, right, a little I'm bit gonna, under. I'm coming back. I'm gonna need someone to bolt this off. Awesome. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. Mine's up. Actually, who's he? Who's he on right now? Okay, nostalgic got him, so I'll save my provoke. Yeah, I'm coming around the corner. You switch targets. Okay, provoking. Got him. Okay. That one's dead. Now we can just beat up on this one. I'll turn him. There we go. There. Worked out beautifully. That was better than a Christmas ham, y'all. I, I am hoping, guys, and I haven't really dug into it. I'm, I may make a video about it tomorrow, but I'm really, actually, am really hoping that Diablo 4 actually feels enough like an MMO to where it's a very entertaining game for a long time. Dude, if it I, does, I, I know, we should play it. We had fun playing Diablo 3, and that I, I don't feel like that was actually a very good Diablo game. It was okay, yeah. but we had fun playing it.
Uh, he's got me, uh, I'm locked down here. I got him off. That's 15 seconds before I can take an action. Yeah, if, I, if you ever see, I, I, you have to kind of be watching, but if you see him do the glare thing, uh, you can turn around. Like, oh, around, and then you won't get by. Nice! Okay, I'll try to pay attention. <laughs> but I right. probably won't notice. Going to stop this. Oh, right. Okay, I can do it again. Provoking. Oh boy, oh boy. What's your experience looking like towards, uh... Mine? Yeah. Level 14. 14. Are you how, are you deep it? Are you getting pretty deep towards 15? Uh, no, I'm like 100 points in the... I'm like, I oh. basically just turned 14. Oh, oh, weird. I thought you hit it a little bit ago. Oh, you hit 13 a little bit ago. Yeah. So you yeah. leveled up from 12 to 14. That's pretty good so far. Yeah, not bad. Could be worse. Do you have your ring on? Yeah. Okay. It's the one ring to rule them all. Yes. Yeah, I used my ring like a an old Betsy. One ring to bind them. Oh, look. It's about to go off, though. I need to redo it. Where is that old Uncle Ring at? There it is. Yeah, how my rings come off, actually? Yeah. <laughs> We've got Sandstorm kicking in now, boys. Uh-oh. I was playing the root. That's what? what I was thinking. So we're about to get some DDR <laughs> action going on in the game. <laughs> I'll protect when you get a chance, uh, Steve. Oh, I got everybody except for you. Oh, sorry. It Steve, turns I out. I have a single one. You probably do a little single one on me. Whenever you, you get your thousand, Nathan, I'm ready to go. There you go. I'm doing it now. I forgot, how do you... I have accidentally went to the wrong book. I'm on number 10 on uh, my... So, uh, like, uh, uh, hold your trigger to your book and then go up or down on the D-pad. Oh, you gotta hold it and do it. Okay, gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. Thank you. HUD fighters, robots in disguise. Look at that hill lizard in the yonder there. Boys sweating like a hog. <laughs> sweating like a hog in hog heaven. In hog heaven. Sure is fencing. We are in Valkrum Doom. 
Leveling up in a classic ever, or sorry, classic Final Fantasy XI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See the old classic? Just like Grandma used to make. So I used to say like an old MMO or a, a, like an old school. Now I just now I have two terms. I personally just say classic or modern when I describe MMO. In what year did modern begin? If you had to say, I'd say post WoW, like a few years yeah, after. Yeah, two thousand four. WoW yeah, there was a yeah, couple like, more after that, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A few years after, I think like I think Vanguard was really the last yeah. classic. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. So that's what like 06? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. 06, 07, one of those two. Yeah. Dude, somebody so. invisible just ran by, I think. Did you guys see that? I think it was Chester Footsteps. Cheetah. Some footprints just, like, darted through our camp. Well, I'm officially offended. <laughs> this is definitely our camp. I got about 15 minutes, folks. All right. And then I have to go into the nether worlds. Now we can go to the um, outpost and teleport back to town, right? Back to Sandoria? Is that right? Say that again, I'm sorry. Can we go back to the outpost and teleport back to Sandoria? If you did the, the supply mission for it. I think we did, didn't we, Steve? Gosh, I don't remember now. Like you I talk we... to the guard and you like, take this to, to this region or whatever, and then you talk to the guard there and he's like, thanks. I don't remember, I don't to did. be honest. I don't know if we did for here. I know we did to the one out in Forest, but I don't remember if we did here. I may do that on off time, because I've got to uh If, if sell. you have it this week, so you got to go into your to region and then Conquest. And so this week, um, Winders had this place. Uh, you have to also own it to do that? Yeah, you have to own it to be able to do your... your Dang. Your you could teleport any time, even though you don't own it, but just for that initial, like, Oh, it. for the, to, to get the quest and do it. Okay, yeah. I gotcha. Oh, I see. Kind of cool, because I guess that that's the, uh, I don't know, the PvP, you could say, of, I mean, there's Ballista, I never did that, yeah. but... I like, did it once. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, I just feel weird. I can't imagine PvP in this game, but I mean, clearly it's a thing. I had a guy get mad at me one time in the game, and he challenged me to PvP, and we went into Ballista together just to PvP. We didn't even play the game. We just fought each other in there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> to settle a dispute. And it wasn't anybody I knew in real life either. It was an actual guy now in Conflict, so then they got mad at me. And all I was doing was, back then I would, you know, like, I would just log on, and if I didn't have a group or whatever, I would just go to, like, Juno or wherever, and I would just, like, roleplay, kind of, with people. Yeah, I used to do that. And it, for some reason, it pissed a guy off. He seen me, heard me doing it, and he got mad, and, like, got all up in my face, and was like, so we had a bit, we had a duel. And guess what? He kicked my ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's dead. No. Unfortunately. He beat me really badly. Look, that's what you get, RPR. <laughs> he was kind of role playing. It was kind of cool. Do you remember that, Steve? As we lived in that, in that, uh, that house in Johnson City. I don't remember that particular incident. But it was so the whole long guild ago. Was, the whole guild was trying to help me level because I had to get to a certain level. For <laughs> some I think I last RP'd was in EverQuest Online Adventures. I never did it in this game, but I did do it in QA. When we're done with Final Fantasy XI, I'm gonna go down, hop on some more Fantasy Star Online too. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, are, you, are you streaming it? No, I'm not streaming. I'm playing oh, on okay. PS5, and I'm just doing the story. I'm playing it like it's a JRPG, and it's pretty awesome, dude. It's like the good Sega. It's 
It's like Sega returned for this game and made like a RPG. What level RPG. are you in that game, man? Uh, well, I started over for this when I got on PS5 because I hadn't played in so long. I did not want to yeah. use my character. Um, so I'm not far. Uh, like level five or six or something. I'm not far. The only thing in that game you'll run into uh, where it's free, right? Uh huh. Is uh, you'll have to grind to progress sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But there's like all Which kinds I, of side I, quests you can use to do it, and just you can just be running around doing all those side quests that you can get. But, yeah, last uh, time I would do that, I would do like little side quests that would send you out into those areas, or I would honestly just go around and kill stuff. Um, yeah. How much different is it from the original Fantasy Star Online? Totally. To uh, dude, it's like so, an actual MMO kind of, and yeah. I mean it's hard. You know, though, it's like a big open world, and there's every, people are running yeah. around out there doing stuff. It's cool. It's way less lobby based than the old one was. It's not like it's kind of not lobby based at all. Yeah, it's really not. Like it limits how many people are in um An area. because it has to or it would kind of suck sometimes, especially back at launch it would have been overcrowded. But like you there will only be like there'll only like I'm making up numbers cuz I don't know. There'll only be like 50 people allowed and it'll make a new instance to that area. You but know it, you can't it doesn't feel like it to you as it a player. You don't even notice. Yeah, yeah. you don't even notice. But I, I I really enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. And the graphics are awesome. Yeah, it looks great. And you can get to customize your character, and there's a lot of options yeah, for you customization. Can really customize. And then, like, the more you play, the more, like, outfits and clothing and accessory pieces you unlock, you can really start customizing how you want yeah. the character to look. And it's a uh, Sega Overload. So, like, there's, like, Dreamcast stuff you can unlock, Sonic kind of stuff. Um, any brand Sega has ever owned, they do events and stuff for. It's actually a really solid free game. If you don't care about having to, if you don't want to pay money for it and you don't care about getting the points where you kind of have to grind it out for a while before you can get to the next story piece, then it's amazing. And the grinding ain't even that bad. No, no, it's I don't not, mind it. It's like it MMO feels like a regular grinding, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like grinding Look. in a... In another type of game. Oh. Yeah, it's not like this. No. No, it's yeah, not like this. It's like, you know, I might be like, okay, I gotta level up two levels. It's like a little different in that game how it works, but just hypothetically, I gotta level up two levels. You might have to play like a good three or four hours once you get to a certain point to do that. But but if you like the old Fantasy Star Online games, because I think you played those, didn't you, Tetsu? I played the, the Dreamcast. The, I only yeah. played the original one on the Dreamcast. Me too. Uh, so. It, it's got enough nostalgia there for in the way things look and like monster types and stuff to where you'll be like, oh, sweet. But I'll be honest with you, it's way better. It's <laughs> it's a huge improvement. Some and of the monsters the are wild, dude. Yeah, dude, there's some really cool monster designs, like epic. Um, but the, the thing is, is like, I didn't, I, I never really felt like Fantasy Star Online was an MMO. This one is, especially with New Genesis. So when they originally launched it in North America, it was just Fantasy Star Online 2. That's a different game. It's still available. Yeah. When you download New Genesis, you can still play the old version. But New Genesis made it way less lobby-based and made it like what you expect. When you play it feels game. legit. I would have been happy if I would have paid for it. Yeah, me too. If it had cost 60 bucks, I'd still be happy. Yeah, it's cool. Because it's like, it doesn't feel like it's a cheap game, you know? It feels like legit. Yeah. And, it, and, and it's the best Fantasy Star, uh, Fantasy Star story since Fantasy Star 4. You know, on the Sega Genesis. Well, it actually had a good story. Don't forget to sit these. Uh, yeah, no, I played 2 when it first released. I remember it was only on the, micro, on the Xbox store. Microsoft yeah, I played that game. one, too. It, I mean, it That's was a different crazy. game. It was, yeah. yeah so, okay. It's way different. It's way it's not different. not that game. They redid the whole game. It's called New Genesis. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. And it's, on, I it's on consoles. It's on PS4, Xbox One, PS5, yeah. X, um, and PC. I can't and believe it's not on the Switch, man. Oh, you got to sit. Cookies, cookies don't work when I'm sitting. Oh, my gosh. It's because I keep... Somehow I'll push some button to where when I hit the sit button, just nothing happens. Now I have to back out of this other menu that I'm in somehow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need another menu. Uh, 
PSO2 New Genesis is rather fun, but my PC strains with it sometimes. Yeah, you know, there's something about the graphics. I, it ran okay on my system. It ran good enough, you know what I mean? Like, I was playing it and having a good time. But for but they've optimized it for console. And so I played on the PS5 for a few days back. I was like, eh, what the heck? I'm going to give this game a shot on console. And it runs like a freaking dream. And then now I'm actually really enjoying it. Because I love those stories, man. I think Fantasy Star, the RPG side, is a big missed opportunity for Sega. Like, yeah. That should still be a series going just like Final Fantasy. Yeah. Those were cool. Especially Fantasy Star Online. Or, I'm sorry. I always want to say online. Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star 4. Those are so freaking good. Dude, this is kind of weird. The Final Fantasies of like Sega, I feel right. Like that was yeah, kind of, yeah, pretty basically back at the time, the year, yeah. Premier RPG or whatever. Yep, because the original one came out on the Sega. Uh, what was it even called? The first Sega. Uh, the Sega System. Master System. I always get confused. Is that what it was called? What was yeah. the What was the European Sega Genesis called? Oh, I forget. Uh, what was it called? It wasn't called Genesis over there. It was Mega called 60, it. Was the Mega, Mega, Mega Drive. Mega, Mega Drive. Drive. There it is. That's, yeah, yeah. that's why I get confused because I always think the Masters, the Mega Drive. Um, the, yeah, the Master System. The first one came out on it. Dude, uh, Fi Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. You know what it actually kind of reminds me of playing? What? Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U. Wait, what does? What game reminds you of that? Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. Oh, I can see that. I never made that link. Yeah. Dude, yeah, it's a okay. lot like it, because especially back when like the game it. was online. You can't play it online now, unfortunately, but yeah. when you played... Yeah, that was a good game. That dude, a good game. they should port that and bring the online functionality. Dude, it was like playing an MMO, man. It was cool. It was. It was. You would get your missions or your quests. You'd go out and do them, and... Uh, it felt it was super open world. Yeah. That was a really. And there was good people one. like running around and stuff when you were like, I only got to play it online one time, and then they shut down the Wii U online stuff. Now I still will say though, Xenoblade Three is the best one. That one is so That's freaking the one you good. On stream, right, the one you played on. Yeah, stream. I played on stream. Yeah, nobody cared, but still did. Dude, I gotta um, get that one. Still, so that's I, one game I haven't picked up yet. I'm on my third playthrough. I do not do that. I, I hardly ever do that with the JRPG, especially when I remember the story, you know? And it's really? new. Really? Dude, I'm on my third playthrough. I love that game. It is so... The story is nuts. I'll, I'll, I replay just certain parts where I'm like, dude, that was crazy. I want to see that again. I'm going to replay the whole game. I want to see that part again. That was so nuts. That's crazy, dude. I'm going to have to get it, dude. I keep forgetting I need to pick that up and put it in my collection. Dude, that one's gonna go down in time as one of the one of the best in the or sorry best RPGs of all time. It will. It absolutely will. So good. Well, guys, I got bad news. Uh oh. That time. Yeah, it's about that time for me. All right. Unfortunately. We probably should have been telling chat the other people in the party. <laughs> Forgot. Oh yeah. Uh, Here, I can help yeah, you kill this I mean, one last lizard. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, I mean, we could. I'll just... Like, so we don't just, uh, let me ask if they want to do PSO nude Genesis. Don't download that version. <laughs> nude Genesis. Yeah, I did that on accident at first. I got confused. If I only play one, which one? If you only play one Fantasy Star, play full, uh, four. Play four. If you're just going to play one of them, play four. It was the last one um, that was like regular JRPG style. It's got real, it was on the Genesis. It has like really cool cutscenes for the time where it was like comic book style. It's really good. It's, it's, it's a shame. Like, yeah, it's beloved, it's talked about all the time, but it doesn't get the credit it deserves. It's right up there with Final Fantasy VI. It's good. Yeah, Fantasy it's Star Forward is my good. number one fave one. Yeah, it's so good. Very unique. Because it's like a little bit of science fiction, but it doesn't go so science fiction that it doesn't feel like a fantasy story anymore. It's funny, because when I, I first played that game, I played it, uh, it, I had rented it from, like, a video store, and, uh... I'd never heard of it or anything, because you know back then you, that's the only way how you found out about stuff was just by 
renting it renting or whatever. Renting it or a friend. Yeah. It's not like there was movie or trailers for games even yet in any kind of way. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but I remember f playing that game after I rented it and feeling like I had discovered something amazing. <laughs> like, oh my god, we got a hidden gem here, guys! Yeah, yeah, that's the way I felt too, because St. Jens was, wasn't known for JRPGs. It had a few, but yeah. it just wasn't what it was known for at all. It's like Final yeah. Fantasy was on the Nintendo, so you were like, yeah, that, that's where it is. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I have a feeling... Yeah, it's on Steam, I believe. Um, yeah, it's on Steam. Fantasy Star 4 IV, you know, Roman numerals. I'll put it here in chat. It's on Steam. The end of the millennium. So you can get it on PC. I think, like, the... I don't know if you've ever seen the Happy Console Gamer. He loves the Fantasy Star series. They're good. Yeah. They're yeah. Really good. Number three is also good, though, I will say. It's not a remake, it's just the Genesis version available on Steam. See, that's something I would want to play, like, on my Retroid. Well, I guess you play, if I had a Steam. That would like, be but cool. I was, but I was trying to find, like, a cheaper, like, legit today, there was an Amazon flash sale, $100 for the new Retroid 3. And I was like, oh, do I want to buy that? Is that one supposed to be a good one? Is that one of the ones Yeah, that's yeah, it plays GameCube, good quality. the Dreamcast, the PSC, and all that. Ooh, dang, GameCube? Yeah, yeah, it was on sale today for, like... 100 bucks like on Amazon like a flash sale I love my wish list and I was like oh I have other, I have Final Fantasy 11 <laughs> I'm in the void as my younger brother who does not play MMO says like oh you're in the MMO void all you MMO people just go in this void and no one ever talks to you again and you don't play hey MMO. man we save a lot of money doing that that's right we, we really do we save a lot of money doing going into MMO voids yeah it's true man it's true that is a good way to save some cash. Now, now he, he grew up on like free to play games, so like I try, I always try to use that. I always try to use that logic, and but for him it doesn't work. He like counters me on that. He's like, I play all free to play games. I'm like, darn you. Well, you're dude, cheap, so you, I can't you can only catch him probably on stuff like this then, where it's like yeah, this is actually plays, free to play. Like he just plays like League of Legends, or he might get like a humble bundle with like dirty games for like five dollars and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Or he'll get like an emulator, like of like old Game Boy games. Like that's what he does. But like, I understand that. Yeah. All right then. Fancy. All right, well, uh... You know what I got here, Steve? Because it's probably where we'll come back to. I would yeah, I'm cool with that. This is basically this is actually the spot we logged in at. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I didn't realize that. Well, thanks for playing with me, dude. That was fun. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks for having me. Sorry, I always it's, yeah. it always feels like I have to go so early, but it's actually getting late where I live. Yeah, it's like eleven thirty. I mean, we did play for five hours. No, that, yeah, I mean, I there's that. There's that. <laughs> it's not I like it was. Late. I usually yeah. join in late with you guys, so I mean, you guys were already playing for a while, so. Yeah, it feels like we don't play as long because we're kind of just BS until Tetsu gets here. <laughs> we're just talking and. Killing stuff worth almost no XP until Tetsu gets here. But actually, we did play a long time. Yeah, that is true. That is true. All right, guys. Cool. All right. Well, well, everybody, thank you for joining us from the streams. Thank you all so much. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it, everybody. Uh, what do we got going on this week, Steve? Now, tomorrow, me and Steve and Dave will be here uh, doing MMO torture with uh, Albion Online. Yep. So you can spin the wheel, torture us. It's hilarious. We had a, uh, we had a great time last week uh, playing, um, what was that game called? Legends of Aria yeah. as an MMO torture. Now, we'll spin the wheel at the end of the episode. Um, you know, it could land on a game we want to play, in which case it'll be MMO Taurus Show. If it lands on another red uh, part of the wheel of the game we're not looking forward to, then, um, uh, you know, it'll be another MMO torture show. But the thing is, is... At the end of the episode, you'll get to vote on what bad MMO you want us because we're playing a bad one, so we we'll have to replace that one on the wheel. So make sure you join us tomorrow. That should go live about about six thirty. Sound about right, Steve? Uh, I'm trying to Eastern. think. Is it usually six thirty we do it? It usually is. That sounds right. Yeah, six thirty. About six thirty Eastern, so five thirty Central. We'll be going live tomorrow for that, and um, yeah. So join us for that, and then. Um, I've got EverQuest P99 on Friday, uh, and then Saturday, Sunday, uh, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go get your streams from Steve. I'll be uh, testing Pantheon um, s both Saturday and Sunday. I actually and am I'll going to be doing a stream on Saturday. Uh, I, I have a feeling what? the way how things are going, 
my stream on Saturday is probably going to be me beating Fire Emblem and then mm. moving on to another game. Nice. That's what it looks like, how it's lining up. I'm so close. I, I got like three chapters left of the game. Yeah, we're not. I'm not saying Albion Online's a bad game. We just weren't personally looking forward to it. So when we get a new MMO, we just decide, do you want it? Are you looking forward to playing this or not? So we weren't looking forward to playing it. I played it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not the MMO for me. Um, and nobody was really looking forward to it. So it, it ended up on the, on the, uh, on the red. And I can't do streams on Fridays, so I won't be doing nothing on Friday. But uh, Sunday, it looks like Sunday will be Sundays when me and Dave plays UO, and then later in the night I do the retro JRPG night. That's pretty much my week. And you're playing um, Emerald Dragon. Yeah, I'm playing Emerald Dragon. Let me tell you, man, this game. It's good. I played it's, it. It's it's cool, but man, dude, sometimes it is hard to figure out where the heck you're supposed to be going to. There's guides, so that's what I did. I wasn't streaming it, so I just, I had guides to help me. And because, like, the random battles, dude, if you're wandering around Lost, dude, it makes it take forever. Yeah, I was playing it just to see what was up with it since it never released, and I, I, I played a guide all the way through. I never, I had the guide right beside me on where I need to go next, etc. Because I was afraid when I was playing that the translation might suck. It doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, it really's uh, not bad so far. I thought it might be... I, did, I just got to the part where Baggin died. Yeah. That old man it's a good game. I love the battle. Forever. I love the graphics in the battle, by the way. You like the battle system. I do. Hang on, let me make sure I'm not getting used here and I'm talking about the same game, but I popped in your stream, I'm pretty sure. Hold up here real quick, make sure that I'm not sitting here talking about a different game, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did like the battle system. Really? Yeah, I was okay with that. I thought it was pretty good. I see. I feel like that the... I mean, I'm okay with the battle system, but to me, like, the battle system is like a... Like a really weak version of, like, a, a Fire Emblem-style battle system. It is. It is a little bit, but, um... It's like the short know. version of that. Because yeah, you, know, you I move felt your like unit was, up, you have a certain that's amount of spaces. Because it's quick. It was quick. Gotcha. It was quick. And it, I didn't feel like if I died then I'm screwed, you know? Unless you forget to save your emulator. game like I did the first night I was playing it. <laughs> I've got an I've got an F key for emulators to autosave, so... Oh, I gotcha. Smack that, I smacked that bad boy about 20,000 times per minute. <laughs> but yeah, I liked it. I thought that was a, a decent yeah, one. Yeah, it's cool. There's it another... definitely looks really cool for the time. Uh, hang on. another one that i played that was fan translated i'm gonna see if i can find it real quick because i know it, you would like was it. was it the treasures of rudris uh I, i've tried that one but i've not played all the way through i may have to get back to you on that there was one though that i played that was really good man yeah there's quite um, a few dude it's, it's crazy how many square squaresoft games there are like that i know They're that never, never came out never saw the light of day never in america about. yeah like that Treasures of the Rudris one. There's another one that's called, like, Something Hunter something. And it's also a cool little square soft RPG like that. Well, another one that I always wanted to play was uh, that uh, Sweet Home game on Nintendo. Oh, yeah. And obviously, Resident Evil basically copyright. Can't believe they didn't get sued, stole from. Um, I would love to play that one day because that's been fan translated to. I can't think of the RPG I played. I'll figure it out. It's probably still on my computer somewhere. Um, so many good ones. There was a really good Super Nintendo one that was. It was really good. Like it's unbelievable what that one brought over ever. There's even a really good Sailor Moon JRPG on the Super yeah. Nintendo. The surprising dude, one. dude, the best. Say, was it Sailor Moon? Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Look it up. It's not Sailor Moon, it's the other one. Um, I always get them confused. Uh, Sailor Jerry. Hang on, let me find it. Oh! Amy. Oh. Uh, no, is that it? Yeah, I'm sorry, not Sailor Moon. The Magic Knight Ray Earth. Oh yeah, that is a good one on too. The, on on the Sega Saturn, dude. Oh, there's the one on the Sega before? Saturn. No. 
Dude, it's a that's a I only there I know, there there was one on the Super Nintendo too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cuz this one was meant to be like um the epic super better version of that version. Wow. Yeah, look just look up the graphics on it alone, you'll be like, "Oh dang, that looks sweet." I'm looking at it right now just to see it. Oh. What's happening here? I got stabbed in the willikers. That's not good. It's not good. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That looks cool. Yeah, that was that was really good. I haven't beat that one yet, but it's in my collection. I'm oh nice. I'm gonna get back to it. I've got all the art. I've got all the JRPGs for Sega Saturn. I just haven't beat them all. Oh I, really? I did you have to pay them. big money for them? Some of them. Listen, some of them I did. Some of them I just kind of you know some things to get them. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not supposed to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Because you can get a Sega Saturn now, and you can get something called the... Um, I got what you're uh, saying, the, yeah, yeah. Now, you know now I definitely get, that cart. get it. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I did, so I could play them all. Because, um, dude, I don't... You know, like... I'm not paying all that money. I'm just not going to. Yeah, I'm um, looking at how much copies of Magic Knight Ray Earth goes for right now, and I'm like, oh, yeah. whoa, crap. And I, did, and I did pay big money for Albert Odyssey, and here's what happened to me. It didn't even work, dude. The oh, game would no. freeze up at a certain point. Sega Saturn CDs are known for that. Like, uh, they call it, uh, what do they call it, CD rot or something like yeah. that? Yeah. The PlayStation's not as bad because apparently that black they put on the disc or something helps it. Something, but the Sega Saturn was just regular, you know, like. Yeah. Um, the, and, so it's not trapped, uh, it's just, it just, the, the, the. It just the, rots, the, the yeah. Rot, like, on the magnet, whatever the film, the magnetic film. Just That's right. Bad. It just goes bad, and then it, it'll it can read some of it, but then you know if it can't read the disc, it will just that's it. You can't play. So um, that made me really mad because I paid a lot of money for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's and a... it's not like it. It's not like I could take it back because it did work. You can start the game. You can play up to a certain point. And then I was so mad, and I loved the game so much that I just went and I did the nefarious things. And I was like, dude, I'm not paying for these games anymore because the chances of that happening are just getting higher every day. Yeah. That the games yep. won't work anymore, you know? So. I wonder how long the Switch RPGs games will last. I think cartridges typically have a way longer lifespan, it seems like. Dude, my Switch library is, is insanity. It's I've, I've went crazy, I think, maybe. <laughs> my Switch library is a, a, it's ridiculous. I don't think do you you'll play most of your that. games handheld or like docked on your Switch. Uh, I do a good, healthy combination of both, to be honest. Okay. It just depends. Sometimes it just depends on the mood that I'm in, really. Depends where I want to sit in my house. Depends also where I'm at. Maybe I'm not even at my house. And I will say that the uh, the OLED switch in handheld is it really does look awesome. Yeah, it pops. It pops like corn. Pops like corn. It's good. But so if you but listen, don't buy one right now. Don't buy one right now. Wait for that Zelda special edition OLED. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, freaking annoying, man. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna dude. head off, guys. So yeah, I gotta yeah. go too. Go, go. I'm rambling now. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See tomorrow you guys. MMO torture. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye bye.